Marvel grabbed a drawer of Infinity Stones at the beginning. Chapter 61 The vast majority of mutants only have one ability, and only a handful of favored people will be given two or even more abilities by God. Chin Grey actually has two abilities. What a proud girl. Is that so? We can't let her leave easily. If such a powerful combat force punishes evil and promotes good and maintains peace, wouldn't it be the nemesis of criminals? What if you follow the guy in front of you? Just forget it. Logan and Charles looked at each other and got the same answer instantly. You must not be with someone like Chen Shi, he is too dangerous. The news they got from various channels was that this guy seemed to have tricked another general and let the Hulk massacre hundreds of people who wanted to attack him. This man's cruelty was unheard of. He didn't care about human life and slaughtered people at will. If they hadn't been rivals for a while, they were afraid that Chen Shi would turn around and cooperate with Magneto, and they would have taken him down long ago. The only good news is that this guy is not a pervert, just a lunatic. He still has shortcomings and can still negotiate. The X-Men have been cooperating with some moderate high-level officials to help capture some difficult criminals. Of course, the radicals want to kill them immediately. The news they got from them is that this guy likes money very much. As long as the price is right, just look at Tony. He cheated Tony of billions, but he still saved his life several times. Therefore, as long as he can afford it at the critical moment, Chen Shi will definitely not mind taking action. Then there is the love for women. Of course, all men who can breathe are like this, but Chen Shi is particularly selective. Based on all the above information, they understood that it was okay for Chin Grey to follow Chen Shi. Chin Grey cannot be allowed to follow Chen Shi, otherwise she will be another female killer who kills without blinking an eye, and is extremely powerful. A madman can't teach a female madman. So without knowing Jean Grey's second ability, Charles asked again. Of course, you can't go hard, you can only go soft. Charles said earnestly, Mr. Chen Shi, you see, Chin Grey is a mutant. She will go back to the mutant school with us and be surrounded by fellow mutants, which will be conducive to her growth. If she goes back with you, she will be surrounded by ordinary people. She will inevitably be lonely, and it will be easy for her to expose herself. Our mutant school can give her better control over her abilities. Do you think this is great? The shrewd Charles looked at Jean Grey again. The final direction had to be decided by herself, and her consent must be obtained, so he immediately started doing Jean Grey's work. Chin, did you know? There are many children about your age playing in our school. We can help you control your abilities without failing. You can become very powerful, just like Captain America Steve, and become everyone's idol. What Charles said was better than what he sang. Chen Shi looked on coldly, just play it and see if you can make flowers come out. He is the only one who knows the mentality of Chin Grey best. She must be very repelled by the abilities she possesses. She killed her mother and asked her to join a group of superpowers. This is nonsense. Charles is inherently at a disadvantage. How can he win? Sure enough, Chin Grey shook her head vigorously, with fear and disgust in her eyes. She was afraid of superpowers, and all her disasters were caused by superpowers. Oh, is this really the case? Charles sighed deeply. With his insight into people's hearts, he could naturally guess this. He was just taking a chance, but unfortunately he still failed. In the original book, Charles blocked Jean Grey's memory so that she could not remember her parents at all, so that he could successfully take her away. Only later when the Phoenix power broke out and broke through the mental prison, did she remember everything and couldn't wait to run home to visit her father. Unexpectedly, her father saw her as an enemy. Her father has also remarried and has a happy family. He has long forgotten that he has such a daughter. It's scary to think about years of suppressed emotions. So Chin Grey broke out directly, and the result can be imagined, who can stop her, a phoenix judgment, everything turned into nothingness. After waking up, Chin escaped into the universe and started wandering. She knew full well what kind of disaster her existence would bring to the earth. She was afraid that she would explode and directly destroy the earth. Professor, Wolverine at the side roared, his face turned livid, and he was very unwilling to see such a result. There are too few fellow mutants, and countless people are suffering from different kinds of abuse and discrimination, and suffer all kinds of suffering, waiting for them to rescue their fellow mutants. They need strong teammates to save their suffering compatriots. 
Charles shook his head helplessly, this is life. Unless we can force her, she does not belong to us. Originally, if Charles had not met Chen Shi, he would have taken Chen Grey away by force. Unfortunately, if he met Chen Shi, then his fate would have changed. When he appeared in this universe, the fate of many people had been derailed and headed towards unknown directions. Charles, to tell you the truth, I am not an alarmist. Eugene Gray will hurt her, and you mutants will almost die, and the entire earth will almost be destroyed. Do you understand the dangers involved? Do you understand that there are many forces in the universe that you cannot understand? Chen Shi stared at them and said very seriously. What? Both of them exclaimed, obviously shocked by Chen Shi. This statement is difficult for them to accept. It is simply a fantasy. What kind of mutant can destroy them and destroy the earth? Isn't it just a telepathic ability and an unknown ability? Facing the two people's completely disbelieving looks, Chen Shi said calmly, Chin awakened telepathy, yes, and another ability is telekinesis. These two abilities can only be said to be good. However, her third ability is no longer as simple as a mutant ability. Before he finished speaking, Wolverine suddenly stood up. Of course, Charles also wanted to stand up. They were shocked again. He shouted with wide eyes. Three, three, fake, three abilities. Chen Shi nodded slightly and told them again with certainty. They are confused, but they have never seen a mutant with three abilities. Is this the biological daughter of God? Then what is the third ability? Charles asked impatiently. The problem must lie with the third one, an extremely terrifying and uncontrollable ability. Oh, the third one. Chen Shi sighed deeply, which made countless people go crazy. Say it quickly, I'm so worried. The grumpy Wolverine didn't even want his cigar and growled. Chin Grey was also full of sadness, and the light in her eyes dimmed again. Could it be that she was a disaster-like existence? Chen Shi no longer pretended, and actually looked at Chin Grey with proud eyes. She awakened the power of the Phoenix. She is the darling of the entire multiverse. Charles and the others were confused. They had never heard of the Phoenix Force, but they understood what Chen Shi said about the darling of the universe. The girl in front of me is the darling of the entire universe, so how powerful should her ability be? Maybe the earth is really as Chen Shi said, it can be destroyed with a snap of a finger. The earth is like a microorganism to the earth in front of the universe. Then what kind of invincible existence is the Phoenix Force? Wolverine looked confused and asked blankly. Charles thought of a different outcome. Can such a powerful force control the future of mutants other than theirs? But is this power really uncontrollable? Charles doesn't believe it. Since it chose her, it can't be controlled. He stared deeply at Chen Shi and said, Mr. Chen Shi, this should be the gospel for us mutants. She is the future of us mutants. Is this power really uncontrollable? He suspected that Chen Shi wanted to take advantage of Chin Jie Lei, but that didn't make sense. Couldn't he just keep it secret and not tell them? It shows that Chen Shi has no ill intentions towards them. It's so contradictory. Seeing the curiosity and suspicion of the two people, Chen Shi immediately planned to educate the two indigenous people about science. He didn't think it was a last-minute idea. Since he encountered it, he just went with the flow. In the future, he will use mutants in more places. Why don't he use salted fish instead? As an infinite mutant race, mutants have unlimited potential. That is his arsenal of abilities, his fish pond. He drank the tea in the cup and said, The power of the phoenix comes from the original universe. It was born at the beginning of all things. It is a chaotic and immortal existence, eternal but impermanent. The phoenix force is the sun of the universe, the embodiment of life and spiritual power in the original universe, symbolizing life and emotions. The phoenix force is the connection point for the spiritual souls of all things that exist or will exist in the future in the infinite multiverse. It is the creator and source of spiritual power. The phoenix force is the storage container and controller of the life and emotional energy of future generations throughout the infinite multiverse. A series of words such as universe, chaos, eternity, life, center, power, source, etc. frightened everyone. The things contained in this series of overviews are really too big, and they often refer to infinite multiverses. They have never heard of this term. Chen Shi just explained the origin of the phoenix power, but he frightened the three of them into confusion. They have never heard of it, but knowing all this is an unimaginable shock. 
They knew that the power of this ignorant girl could destroy and recreate the universe at any time. Can this kind of power really be controlled by a mortal? Would such a power be willing to obey the orders of a mortal? No, impossible, absolutely impossible. It will only look for a powerful slave to carry its ability and do things for it. Well, it's scary to think about it. They were so frightened that they looked at each other with fear and uneasiness in their eyes. Thinking of such a power, then, without thinking too much, the three people's faces became extremely pale. Snap, the hand holding the teacup was so trembling that I couldn't hold it at all, and the cup fell to the ground. Then, what about Earth? Is there still hope? Charles was trembling and stammered as he asked Chen Shi, hoping to get a glimmer of hope. He didn't know what to say when he heard that sentence about the power of life and emotion that governs the infinite multiverse, the creation and source of all spiritual power. They don't understand what the original universe is. Is our universe just a corner? Is the infinite multiverse a township level? Then they are microorganisms, right? These new terms are so terrifying that they would rather be dreaming today, their worldview has been shaken to pieces. Hope, of course there is, but Chen Shi wouldn't tell them. Today's mission is to fool them, scare them silly, and get rid of them. Hearing Charles's weak voice, Chen Shi wanted to laugh a little, but he had to hold it back. He decided to fool them first and break into the mutants from now on. Hope, it's hard to say. The future of everything is unknown. It depends on Chin herself. The complete Phoenix Force has never appeared. The largest piece of the original universe in Jean Grey's body. So when her abilities are at their peak, she can forcibly borrow the Phoenix power from other infinite multiverses. At this moment, she is the White Phoenix King. It's just that it's too difficult to reach this level of invincibility. This is like raising a GU. Countless Phoenix power hosts have fallen on the way forward, but they still keep going. They understood that this was devouring each other. If failure meant death, what about the universe they were in? Chen Shi did not pause, but continued. The Phoenix Force can create and manipulate the coordinates of the spatial dimension and any coordinates on the timeline to travel to and from any point in time and space. The Phoenix Force can also completely delete one or more parallel universes in a certain dimension just like deleting files. Delete Universe, Fark, the cold sweat of both Charles and Charles instantly wet their backs. This power of erasing a universe is like playing. It's just like playing with a computer. It's so casual. They fully understood the special image Chen Shi mentioned. If Chin Grey was defeated by other Phoenix Force hosts, then they would really be doomed. Maybe it would be fun to be alive and well one day, but then suddenly disappear without any response, but that would be fine, there would be no feeling at all. In fact it is. In the comics, after Earth 94042's Dark Phoenix accidentally killed all the X-Men, she lost control and swallowed the entire universe. On Earth 81727, Jean killed the X-Men and all Sheer Empire guards in an instant, destroying the entire universe. Of course this is just a comic, it can't be done in the movie. But in fact, even if the primary Phoenix power is awakened, her manipulation of matter has reached the subatomic level. When Chin Grey grows to a stronger level, she can easily change their own elements, ranging from life to the universe, and can decompose, transform, reorganize, and create at will. The Phoenix Force also has the power to control cause and effect, weave destiny, manipulate all things, and has the ability to modify reality at will regardless of the law of cause and effect. I saw in the future scene that Charles you set up a mental cage for Jean Grey, because you didn't recognize the uncontrollable explosion of the Phoenix power, and thought it was her negative emotions. The result is that too many negative emotions accumulated, forming a dark and destructive personality. After the outbreak, you all died, and the entire universe was swallowed up by Chin Grey. Chen Shi suddenly threw them a bolt from the blue, of course to deceive them. Plop, plop, the effect was also particularly effective. No, Charles and Wolverine were so frightened that they dropped their teacups again. Having really been deceived by Chen Shi, the tough guy King Kong was so frightened that he helped Charles regain his stability. There's nothing I can do about it, I'm getting old. Charles tremblingly took out the quick-acting heart-saving medicine from his pocket and drank it with tea. Are we cold now? Too cold. Why are we digging a hole for ourselves? After a while, he calmed down, and Chen Shi almost sent him away. Ha ha ha. Chen Shi burst out laughing in his heart, 
we are professionals, we must hold it in. Mr. Chen Shi, are you telling the truth? Charles asked desperately. Of course, what I'm talking about is the future I see, but that's just the result of you taking away Jean Grey. Chen Shi looked at them with determination, can't you see my sincerity? Okay, but what if I don't do that? There seems to be a trace of lucky fantasy. Charles feels that he has received enlightenment about the future, can he change it? Unexpectedly, Chen Shi glanced at him with contempt, what are you thinking about? If she can't correct her ability, she would have exploded and killed you instantly. Ah, yes, he he, he he. Charles was despised by Chen Shi and couldn't help but smile. Okay, no more nonsense. I have to take her back. You can go and do whatever you want. If you want to see me in the future, please make an appointment with my secretary in advance. This is my secretary's number. As he spoke, he put a business card on the table. There were only two people in the company, him and number. 18. This guy shamelessly gave Charles the number 18. The spectrum was so big and they even made an appointment. Wolverine was speechless. Did they know that there were only two people in this guy's company? Ignoring the two men who were slightly twitching at the corners of their mouths, Chen Shi continued to talk nonsense based on experience. If you ask me for help in the future, don't ask if it's less than 100 million. My appearance fee is very high, do you know that? Okay. I have to go, see you later. After saying that, he stretched out his hand and wanted to shake hands with them and say goodbye. There was no other way. They stopped talking. Charles and the two had no choice but to extend their hands and say a friendly farewell. Logan, how credible do you think this guy's words are? Watching Chen Shi leave, Charles looked at the tall and short figures outside the window with deep eyes and murmured. I think, half and half, if he doesn't know how to be so bluffing, I don't believe he can make up those new terms on the spot. But we can't believe everything that guy says. He must be lying to us somewhere. This guy has a very purposeful purpose in what he says and does. From saving Tony, cheating Tony, killing John, subduing the Hulk and killing Ross, etc., they all have a strong purpose. The Logans are mature and sophisticated, and can naturally analyze important information from various seemingly unrelated events. Oh, I think so. I have to believe it, not entirely. Fortunately, this guy seems to be quite friendly to us mutants. No, when you say that, this guy must have some purpose. It seems like you should be wary of him. Is he trying to make us happy in exchange for money? It's not impossible. Charles took a selfie of his smooth forehead. As soon as Logan said this, he suddenly thought that this guy must have some purpose for them. Chen Shi didn't know that Charles and Logan had just analyzed it and figured out his purposeful thoughts. It's just that they can't guess what Chen Zai's purpose is until they die. At this moment, Chen Shi was in a silly mood. It could be said that the whole person was immersed in joy. Ding, the plot character Professor X, Charles, has been detected. Does the host extract his abilities or items? This extraction requires 1 million points. It must be extracted. Ding. 1 million points have been deducted and are being withdrawn. Please wait a moment, host. One minute later. Ding, the telepathy ability has been extracted. Is the host integrated? Merge. Ding, fusion has begun, host please wait. As soon as he finished speaking, Chen Shi knew that another piece of gene had been loaded into his body, giving him another mutant ability. Moreover, he has an unpreventable telepathic ability, which can invade the brain without anyone noticing and steal and control others. Ding, the fusion is complete. The moment it was completed, Chen Zai's brain felt as if some nerve had been opened. It felt extremely cool and the world became clear. Quietly pull out a thread of spiritual power to connect to a random sparrow in the parking lot, and quietly read through its past. Of course, apart from eating and sleeping, what can little animals do? Chen Zai's mental power was already very strong so he naturally became proficient in it in a short time, one after another, and after a dozen or so, he had mastered it. But he didn't dare to find an innocent ordinary person for the first time. It would be bad if he accidentally turned the human machine into an idiot. However, it was only limited to browsing memories. Controlling this aspect was still at the level of a toddler, but he was not in a hurry. It took Charles more than ten years to control people at will. With his talent, it would only take two or three years, right? 
Of course, except for special circumstances, he will not control people easily, which is simply too boring, and many strong-willed people cannot control them at all. Okay, let's continue with the system. The order is issued and the system continues to operate. Ding, the plot character Wolverine Logan has been detected. Whether the host can extract his abilities or items, this extraction requires 300,000 points. Extract. Ding, 300,000 points have been deducted and are being withdrawn. Please wait a moment, host. Soon, the extraction was successful. Ding, the self-healing ability has been extracted. Is the host integrated? Fusion. Ding, fusion has begun, host please wait. Ding, it has been detected that the host has self-healing ability, and the two self-healing abilities have begun to merge. Time passed bit by bit, and the waiting time for this fusion became a little longer, but the effect was reflected bit by bit. Ding, the fusion is complete. When the fusion was completed, Chen Shi felt that his vitality was incredibly strong. He took out a knife and slashed his arm hard, and something shocking happened. Brother, this is, oh my god, immortality. Chin Grey covered her mouth, opened her eyes wide and looked at Chen Shi with a smile on her face in shock. Under her gaze, the wound opened by the knife healed as she moved it, without even a second. She was so dumbfounded, could he die? She even wondered if cutting off his head would make another one grow. Haha, ha, this effect is not bad, hee hee. Chen Shi is also very satisfied with the result. The two self-healing abilities are so explosive. What about integrating Deadpool's self-healing ability? What about the saber-toothed tiger, the self-healing ability of Apocalypse, and the ability to devour the dead female Yuriko? How can he be resurrected without even a single gene? Unless the universe is wiped out, who can kill him? When the time comes, just cut off a piece of meat, freeze it and throw it into the system space, hee <laughs> hee. Let's see who can kill him. His life is very valuable. Hexagrams, don't dare to have deep love. For Chen Shi, life is the most important, and everything else is not as important as life. Death is like a lamp going out, and everything ends. The two major abilities are combined again, which is so cool. What are you afraid of? Have nothing to fear. System, how many years do I have to live now? Chen Shi is particularly curious about how long he can live. Immortality is too simple for him. Ding, the basic system estimates that a host with a frost giant royal physique can naturally live for 5,000 years. Coupled with the super ability of the two self-healing abilities, it is conservatively estimated that it can live for 10,000 years. Can he live for such a long time? For now, time is worthless to him, so there is no need to think about it deliberately. The dream I once had, immortality is no longer my pursuit. System, open the properties panel, I want to take a look. Ding, the properties panel has been opened, the host can check it by himself. Host, Chen Shi, age, 22, level, sub-heavenly father level, physique, frost giant physique, ability, water control level A, 10 kilometers range, ice type S level, minus 150 degrees Celsius, fire control level C, 500 degrees, carbon temperature transformation, second to original Edmund and vibranium. Teleportation level A, Earth range. Super speed movement a level, 1000 km per second. Super self healing S level, any damage is healed within 1 second. Telepathy level A, items. Time stone, space stone, reality stone, power stone, mind stone, soul stone. End pieces. An umbrella hive factory. Subordinates. Android No. 18, Terminator TX. Points. 10.4 million points. Bioenergy. 3850 points. Seeing in the attribute panel, after gaining both mental and physical progress, I crossed a natural chasm in one step. From the earth level to the sub-heavenly father level, this is not only an improvement in comprehensive strength, but also a leap in life. Countless mutants, superpowers, magicians, and mutants have been stuck on this earth level for their whole lives, and he can easily span a few weeks. This is not a miracle, it is the result of his tirelessness and hard work. Yes, that's it. Just looking at more and more abilities, Chen Zai's doubts or worries are becoming more and more. I am so awesome and have more and more abilities. Can this body carry so many genes? A few abilities don't matter. If hundreds of abilities are added to him in the future, will he still be a human being?
Or, will his genes not collapse? Everything is the same, there is always an upper limit, right? Don't push yourself to death when the time comes. System, I have so many genes, will it happen that my genes collapse and I will strangle myself to death? He quickly asked the system, this was related to his life, he had to ask clearly. The host's worry is not wrong, and it is also very correct. The genetic endurance of mortals is limited, and too many genes will collapse. However, the host accidentally extracted two self-healing abilities and fused them into the body. Such powerful abilities can naturally solve the dangers faced by the body. According to the system, he will definitely extract the self-healing ability. After all, there will definitely be an intersection. Chen Shi couldn't help feeling that he was lucky. The short-sighted cat met the blind mouse, and it was a mistake. System, why doesn't it prompt that the points that change Chin Gray's fate are recorded? When he took away Chin Gray, shouldn't it have directly changed Chin Gray's fate? When he got Wanda, wasn't it just a matter of one step? Host, Jean Gray's situation is complicated. She must wait until the host prevents the birth of her second destructive personality before she can be considered completely changed. Otherwise, she will still escape the Earth and return to her original orbit. Chen Shi understood that there was such a reason, but he was not in a hurry. I can't eat hot tofu in a hurry. Everything has a process. What's his will always be his. When he saw Chen Gray, he also understood that the current X-Men timeline was the timeline after the future. It's just that everything after the timeline has been changed, everything has been overturned, and after the integration, a new parallel movie universe was born. It can also be said that nothing happened. No wonder everyone only remembers the Cuban crisis, because other major mutant events did not happen at all. After combing through all the clues again, Chen Shi finally understood now. The timeline of the Avengers has not changed much. The time of the X-Men is a brand new timeline. No major events have happened after the Cuban crisis. Charles and Logan's memories of Jean Grey were all mysteriously erased by time. Let's go home first. Then follow me and take you back to meet your sisters. Chen Shi felt relaxed now. He had sorted out the most important timeline and felt confident. Okay, sisters. Brother, do you have other sisters? Chin Grey was overjoyed and felt much happier. After all, men and women are different, and only girls know any little secrets. Hey, you'll know when the time comes, let's go. Chen Shi smiled mysteriously, didn't say anything, and drove towards Tony's home with the accelerator. Although Chin Grey was full of doubts, Chen Shi was so mysterious that she couldn't ask any more questions. He obviously wanted to give her a surprise. While chatting, Chin Gray suddenly asked Chen Shi about her own future of destroying the universe, which was really scary. Look at your little hands, look at your little arms and legs, don't you look like such a female devil? Brother, you said that I destroyed the universe. According to what your Dragon Kingdom said, it was you who calculated it. Are you sure you really calculated it like this? Why don't I believe that I have such a powerful power? Chin Gray asked in disbelief, she was too weak. Chen Shi said with a smile while driving, there is such a saying in our dragon country. Don't dare to calculate all the hexagrams for fear of the impermanence of heaven. Don't dare to have deep love for fear of a big dream. You can't believe in fate, you can't believe it, you can't achieve perfection in anything, so what I said is only possible, the future is still in your own hands. Chen Shi tried his best to explain in English, but the culture of the Dragon Kingdom was so profound and profound that even Chin Gele was confused when he explained so hard. She only understood that fate is unpredictable, and it is fundamental that you must control your own destiny. Chin Gray nodded in understanding, fell into deep thought, and looked out the window in silence. Silly girl, Chen Shi sighed softly in his heart. She is so stupid in the future. She obviously wants to cling to her destiny but it backfires. Asking but not getting it, giving up but not being able, getting but not hesitating. She forgave everyone, but she never forgave herself no matter what, let herself go, reconciled with herself, and finally chose to escape from the universe. In this life, I will put an end to all the suffering and torture for you. Didi, Didi, Didi. With silence, Jean Grey arrived at Tony's home in less than half an hour. She just pressed the horn a few times but the door did not open automatically. Where's Jarvis? Isn't this guy very active? What happened today? There was a power outage. Thump thump thump. 
After a while, Chen Shi saw Banner swinging around and manually opening the garage door for him. Hey, Banner, what's going on? Where's Jarvis? The power's out, he can't even control the garage. Chen Shi stuck his head out of the car and shouted to Banner. What? Jarvis was attacked, and now he is imprisoned. Tony didn't even eat lunch, so he is still messing around. Banner also responded to Chen Shi in a cheesy manner. He was secretly having fun now, and he deserved it. This guy has been bragging all day long. His arrogance has finally been punished for his arrogance, right? Has he been punished? When Chen Shi heard this, he suddenly realized that Jarvis had been locked up in a dark room by the Red Queen. It turns out that I am the culprit. Hee hee, hee hee, that's it. Chen Shi smiled awkwardly. Hee hee, well done, let him have a headache. He can't even use the steel armor now, not to mention how depressed he is. The brave Iron Man has become Scrap Iron Man, and his fans have estimated that they won't be able to see him again in the next two days. Finally, he didn't have to watch him flying around all day long to show off. Banner was particularly excited and said gloatingly. The previous war let everyone know that Tony Stark was Iron Man himself. His number of fans skyrocketed to tens of millions, and Stark Industries' stock price continued to rise for half a month. Twice as high as he was at his peak, Tony made a very good comeback and his net worth skyrocketed. With both fame and fortune, he has become more and more swollen recently. He enjoys being a superhero and enjoying people's cheers and screams. He also holds parties at night to make celebrities and sweethearts. It's just that Banner is boring and not good at talking, and the women are all here for Tony's money. There are not many women paying attention to him at all, but Banner is very depressed. No, Tony was unlucky and he was very happy. Ignoring the annoying Banner, Chen Shi led Chin Grey and got out of the car and walked in. Wanda and number 18 happened to be there. My dear, where did you kidnap this little sister? Isn't she so cute? Wanda spotted Chin Grey at a glance. Chen Shi couldn't help but rolled his eyes, can you speak? Why did you ask me to kidnap you? If you can't speak, speak less. His name is Chin Grey. He was abandoned by his father for some reasons and will live with us from now on. When Wanda heard it, it seemed as if her soul resonated, and she suddenly thought that she was like this too. Baby, you have suffered. From now on, you will stay with your sister. She will take care of you. We are family. Wanda, who felt the same, hugged Chin Grey and said softly with red eyes, women are all emotional animals, and she exploded all afternoon. Chin Grey also seemed to feel the warmth of home and the care of her family. Tears that had been tense for two days burst into her eyes and she burst into tears. For a moment, the two most powerful women in the Marvel Universe hugged each other and burst into tears. This scene was a bit weird. Chen Shi quickly took out his mobile phone, click, click, and secretly took pictures of this historic scene. Oh, you wretched master, I despise you. Number 18 saw everything clearly and snorted disdainfully. Snap, go up and slap her on the butt. Why don't you go to the house to uncover the tiles if you don't hit her for two days? Later, let her have a taste of what is called the rate of fire of a human anti-aircraft cannon. I'll deal with you tonight and let you challenge the master's authority. Chen Shi said fiercely, I'm afraid of you, two against one, who is afraid of who? Number 18 glared at him triumphantly. Come on, these women are really lawless. They need him to shake up their power from time to time. Let's stack up tonight. As for now, let's forget it. This is a special show for women, big and small, and he should stay away. After dragging Banner, this idiot, to Tony's underground research room, he immediately saw Tony with a frown on his face, holding a cup of coffee and pretending to be a thinker. Hey, Mr. Iron Man Tony Stark, do you have chicken fever or are you too crazy and someone slapped you with a brick? As soon as the depressed Tony heard this taunting and yawning voice, he knew who it was without having to guess. Get out of here, do you understand that people are not to be torn apart by hardships? Do you have any qualities? Do you have any compassion? Tony roared wildly and wanted to strangle him to death. Hey, what's going on? Haven't you been enjoying a lot of scenery and beautiful women these past few weeks? Look, everyone on the internet is discussing whether superhero Tony Stark is the greatest hero besides Steve. Chen Shi pretended not to notice and continued teasing, the smile in his eyes overflowing. 
What does it mean to have unlimited glory? I just made a little money and gained some fans. Hee <laughs> hee, it's not worth mentioning. I don't know if this guy really can't hear it or he's pretending not to be able to hear it, but he's not ashamed of it, but proud of it. A shameless person is invincible, and Tony has completely mastered the essence of being invincible if a person is humble. Under Chen Zai's contemptuous gaze, Tony smiled sarcastically. Suddenly he remembered something. It seemed that a private equity fund had madly acquired their shares when Stark Industries' stocks plummeted, so that it now controlled 15% of their shares in Stark Industries. Thinking about it, he felt depressed. Suddenly his eyes rolled and an idea flashed through him, and he came to his senses. I saw Tony staring at Chen Shi with stern eyes, and growled in disbelief, FAQ. Did you secretly acquire shares of Stark Industries? I remember when you saved me, you said you could understand the past and predict the future. I didn't believe it at the time. It wasn't until later that I said Obadiah Stan would attack me that I believed it. Now that our retail investors are being acquired wildly by a private equity fund when the stock price plummets, someone must have known about it in advance, and I can't think of anyone who knows about it except you. Only you can figure all this out. Fark, you are so insidious and cunning, you actually purchased it secretly. The more Tony thought about it, the more he understood, and the more he thought about it, the angrier he became. He is just a pig-brained person. He didn't think of such a simple thing until he saw Chen Shi. Well, Chen Shi took his money and bought his company's stocks. Now, this guy has actually become the second largest shareholder of their company. This is really insidious. Sold his Tony and helped him pay for it himself. Tony, who thought he was a genius, broke his guard and his mentality exploded. Seeing Tony jumping up and down and yelling loudly, Chen Shi shrugged, you can't blame me. I am a good person, I am a positive person. A positive person, but you don't believe me. The more Chen Shi sees Tony feeling uncomfortable, the more excited he gets. Happiness is based on the pain of others, so hey. Tony, I have some good news for you. Looking at the smiling Chen Shi, Tony didn't know what kind of medicine was sold in this gourd, but it was not a good thing at first glance. Chen Shi always cheated on him and was full of bad news. What kind of bad news was this? You could only listen to what he said in reverse. Although his instinct told him not to listen, he still couldn't help his curiosity. Haha, <laughs> what good news can you have? Say it quickly if you have something to say, and say it quickly if you have any farts. After saying that, he pricked up his ears and looked excited. Cut, Chen Shi glanced at this guy with disdain and said no, he was being honest, right? He continued. The good news is I know where Jarvis is being held, right? What? You know. Tony was startled, then overjoyed, and urged. Speak quickly, tell me who was attacked by Jarvis, who is so capable. Don't worry, I have some bad news. Do you want to hear it? Chen Shi said calmly, the fun hasn't begun yet. Bad news. What bad news? Tony tensed up, it's really not good. Take a sip of coffee to calm down. Hey. The bad news is that I happen to know the person who locked up Jarvis. He said it would be difficult to do without one billion. Puff. As soon as these words came out, Tony spit out the coffee he had just taken two sips of, what kind of big black batch is this? Ten. Billion. He didn't have time to wipe his mouth and immediately exclaimed. Suddenly he remembered something again and stared at Chen Shi. Fake squid, are you talking about your friends? Where did you get your friends from? You guys have a saying called making friends out of nothing. I've heard it before. Don't fool me with your friends. This friend is you, right? I can't think of anyone else who could be so dark except you. That's why you would deceive me like this. If you don't say one billion, you don't even have one hundred million. You think so? Tony sneered at Chen Zai's shady behavior. Grandma, you're a jerk, it's only one billion, why don't you go and grab it? Robbery is not as fast as your money. I went there and you really thought of me as an ATM machine. Big dog. Don't worry, why do you think so? It's really not me, isn't it just one billion? You, Tony Stark, are short of this little money. No, I'm short of money, don't try to rip me off. Regarding Chen Zai's sugar-coated bombs, he was respectful and insensitive, blocking and intercepting the rebound. Okay. My friend said, if you are so uncooperative, it will be very difficult for him, so just keep Jarvis locked up. 
Chen Shi shrugged, you're not in a hurry, and I'm not in a hurry either. Let's take our time. But he still had to give Tony some face. If he still didn't surrender after three days, then let him go. After all, my family always eats his, uses his, and lives his, so you can't be too stingy. TCH, if you want to kill me, there's no way. Tony said harshly. No big deal, if I make another one, won't it still work the same? Okay, let's see how tough you are. Chen Shi said nonchalantly. Suddenly he remembered something again. By the way, I'll use another room. I'll move back tomorrow. The doors and windows have been repaired there. As you wish, there's plenty of room, don't delay the great genius of Tony Stark from doing his work. After Tony finished speaking, he drove Chen Shi and Banner out, and he had to immerse himself in work. It's up to you. I wish you good luck. Chen Shi was just teasing him, how could he want to blackmail him? As for Jarvis, Chen Shi didn't believe that Tony could really give up this old friend. Comrade Howard Stark is obsessed with inventions and picking up girls. Although he has restrained himself, he still enjoys it. For Tony in his childhood, the communication between the two was extremely limited, let alone playing together. He grew up with Jarvis, the loyal butler of the Stark family, accompanying him throughout his childhood. In his childhood, he was only accompanied by Jarvis. He sent him to school, played games with him, and chatted with him. It is not an exaggeration to say that Jarvis was half of his father. After Jarvis died, Tony named his artificial intelligence after Jarvis. This shows how important Jarvis is to Tony, and these little feelings cannot be replaced. Chen Shi no longer thought about it. He had already come to the living room and saw that Wanda and Chin Grey had finished crying. The three of them were chatting enthusiastically. When they saw Chen Shi walking proudly and smiling, Chin Grey glared at him with an unkind look. Brother, you are such a scumbag, you actually have two different things to do. I really despise your character. What? What is going on? Why does my little cutie have the tendency to become a violent lowly? I just left for a few minutes, what happened? Chen Shi glanced back and forth, the problem must be with Wanda, the little girl, and number 18, the royal sister. Humph, are you slandering my character in front of Chin? It will make you both feel better later. After threatening them, he shamelessly squeezed into the middle of the house and hugged them, extremely shameless. I've never seen you so shameless. Wanda is helpless when she encounters this situation. No, it's already like this. You keep slandering my glorious image. Then I don't have any image anymore. Why do I care? I must be following the image you set for me. Gagging is his specialty. If you are thick-skinned, you will get an extra piece of meat. When others are pretending to be serious, I have to pretend not to be serious. Chen Zai's side was full of life, but the time variation administration somewhere in the multiverse was unhappy. At this time, Loki had already joined forces with the female Loki Sylvie and attacked many time guards. The entire time variation administration deployed almost half of its power to stop them. But at this moment, they discovered that the universe where Chen Shi lived had completely changed. The bifurcation is getting higher and higher, which shows that Chen Zai's actions at this time are getting bigger and bigger, and the impact is getting bigger and bigger. While they were worried about the Locust destroying the Time Variation Administration, they were also worried that Chen Shi would really create an independent parallel universe. Listening to the reports from his subordinates, the chief judge, who was the only one who knew the truth, had a severe headache. One person was not enough to disrupt the situation, and another one was needed. She also wanted to find out who the Time Variation Management Bureau was. She had already had a clue, but now it was disrupted again. Kong the Conqueror or Mephisto? It's really one head and two big ones. Come on, go to Chen Zai's universe now and cause him some trouble. Don't let him move too fast. The justice shouted into the air, but surprisingly, someone responded to her immediately. Sir, what should we do? The justice thought for a while and said. Let's go to the year 1973 in some abandoned universe. Catch Bolivar, and don't forget his apprentice striker. Help them arrange identities, implant their memories and throw them into Chen Zai's universe. Time Guardian. Dot. Yes, your honor. Then he disappeared. At this moment, she was the only one left in the lonely office. She had a headache and rubbed her temples, her face full of exhaustion. There are so many variables. 
One Loki plus a female Loki would give her a headache, but the key is that there are a lot of locusts coming out. There are all kinds of gays, including old men, teenagers, crocodiles. None of them are good, and they are all trying desperately to escape. Chen Shi, if I don't cause trouble for you, you must keep causing trouble for me. This woman almost exploded in anger. According to her plan, by secretly giving Loki some push, she could drive Loki and the two of them to decipher the true face of the Time Variation Administration step by step. Loki is in the clear, and she is in the dark. She can reveal the secrets of the mastermind behind it before he finds out. Who knows, Chen Zai's side is so smooth, it's like his back garden, just let him play. Such wanton destruction of the timeline really disrupts their plans and will soon attract the attention of others. He must be slowed down and his balance must not be disturbed. Just wait, when I have my hands free, I will push you into the doomsday timeline. The justice gritted his teeth and said, her plan does not allow any problems. In a certain time and space in 1973, this is an abandoned timeline. There are too many parallel universes like Marvel, and they will all enter a countdown to death for some reason in the future. Reversing the future timeline, Quicksilver rescued his father, Magneto Eric. But at this moment, there was an argument on the plane because of serious differences between the two. What about your abilities? The medicines used to treat my spine affected my DNA. You sacrifice your ability to walk. Eric was dumbfounded. I sacrifice my ability to get a good night's sleep. Charles replied matter-of-factly. Magneto was very surprised to find that Charles had lost his powers. When he heard Charles's weird reason, he was simply frightened by such a decision. What do you know? Eric yelled. I paid a lot too. Charles shook his head. Save it, Eric. You can't make up for what you've done. Magneto smiled disdainfully. You have no idea what I've done. I know you took away the most important thing from me. Charles stared at him. No, you have no idea what I'm going to do. Eric yelled. Hearing this, Charles's eyes also changed, and he stared at Eric with his eyes widened. Perhaps, you should have protected them earlier. Eric continued. As if being told an unacceptable pain point, Charles stood up abruptly, rolled up his sleeves and was about to fight. If you want a fight come on. Charles grabbed Eric with great emotion, stared at Eric hysterically, and shouted, You abandoned me. You took her away and abandoned me again. Eric seemed indifferent to Charles's loud questioning, it seemed like the calm before the storm. He stared at Charles and said word by word, Angel, Red Devil, Emma, Sonic. As his words fell, emotions exploded bit by bit, and the powerful magnetic field caused the plane to tremble violently. One can imagine how terrifying Magneto's inner pain was at this moment. Brothers and sisters of mutants. They're all dead. At this moment, Magneto was so excited that tears of pain and sadness burst out of his eyes. The uncontrollable and terrifying magnetism caused the plane to swing from side to side, and it seemed that the plane would crash in the next second. Countless people were experimented on and disemboweled. At this moment, Charles was thrown around and his eyes were filled with fear. Eric, the plane was about to lose control. Charles was so anxious that he shouted, trying to stop Eric from continuing to explode, but Eric remained indifferent. He was still blushing and yelling ferociously. Where were you then, Charles? We should have protected them. When your countrymen need you. Where are you? You and Hank are hiding. You are pretending you are not mutants. Charles was thrown around, and he was a little overwhelmed when he heard the questions. You're the one who left us all behind. Eric seemed to use all his strength to vent his anger, pain, unwillingness, and sadness. The resentment seemed to have dissipated and he fell silent. The plane returned to normal, and Charles left as if fleeing. Wolverine then clung to the table and put it down. What a thrilling scene. Eric, you and I will both be survivors in the future. By the way, please clean up this place. The plane fell into silence again. Here in Paris, there is a luxurious club, where there is feasting and entertainment, and life is going on all the time. A Vietnamese general drank happily, laughed wantonly and hugged each other. They all came to attend the meeting to celebrate the end of the war and the treatment of mutants. But at this moment, the monkey found a beautiful woman sitting alone at the bar, then. When he saw the color, he walked over instantly. He was going to be a hunter. But who is the hunter? Who is the prey? Senior hunters often appear as prey, 
so he is doomed to tragedy. After bringing this beauty back to the room, the anxious Yu Ho who poured a glass of wine and said in an extremely vulgar manner. Then let me see more of you, baby, take off your clothes and see, hey hey hey. After saying that, he smiled obscenely, not knowing that his death was imminent. The blonde beauty slowly opened her coat, and the exposed clothes slowly turned into scary blue scales in the monkey's frightened eyes. She is Mystique, she can be called a pervasive super killer and agent. Mystique smiled half-heartedly and said, What's wrong, honey, don't you think I'm so beautiful? After saying that, with lightning speed, he raised his leg high and kicked the monkey on the neck. Then push and push hard. While chasing and laughing, the monkey stared wide-eyed and struggled hard to get away, but in the end he could only stare at Mystique with unwilling eyes and fell down. Mystique picked up his ID and smiled brightly. The assassination operation has begun. She wants to kill this perverted guy and stop his human experiments on mutants. The next day, Mystique transformed into a Vietnamese monkey and sneaked into the large conference room. At this time, the dwarf Bolivar took out the instrument. The genetic navigation system can lock the target 800 meters away and will only launch an attack after the target is determined. With it, collateral damage will be a thing of the past, like now I turn it on and the system won't boot. However, the moment Bolivar opened the test, the instrument rang. Unless there are mutants here, Bolivar said in a low voice, and everyone's expressions changed wildly at this moment. When Bolivar slowly moved the genetic testing navigation system across everyone, it stopped at the Vietnamese monkey. Drop, 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 a rapid alarm sounded. Everyone's eyes were fixed on the Vietnamese monkey that Mystique had transformed into, and they were talking in confusion. There must be something wrong with it. Mystique forced herself to explain in order to get through. Bolivar looked at her calmly and said confidently, My inventions never malfunction. What are you? At this time, everyone stood up suddenly, and countless bodyguards in black rushed in, pointing guns at Mystique. Seven or eight bodyguards swarmed up and grabbed her directly. However, Mystique's physical fitness and fighting skills were not something that these bodyguards could compete with. He threw him back with a backhand, grabbed another person, and then hit that person on the head with an elbow, knocking down both of them directly. At the same time, the senior executives attending the meeting fled in a hurry. Only Bolivar was hiding in the corner and observing. Unexpectedly, Mystique slid out from under the conference table, kicked away the last bodyguard with her feet, and took away his pistol. Whoosh! Mystique immediately aimed at Bolivar, preparing to kill the perverted dwarf with one shot. Raven. At this time, Magneto and others appeared and shouted, Mystique was attracted to turn around. At this time, the fallen bodyguard instantly tied her up with electric shock wire. Mystique was subdued instantly and fell twitching. Magneto saw this and rescued Raven with a wave of his hand. Magneto suddenly thought that the final result would be that Raven's blood helped mankind achieve a super leap and produce the sentinel robot. Cruel and ruthless, he decided to kill Raven, sacrifice her, and save thousands of mutants. Whoosh! Magneto grabbed the pistol, and the pistol automatically flew into his hand and was pointed at Raven. Charles yelled, Eric, what are you doing? Protect our future. Forgive me, Raven, as long as you live, we are all in danger. At this moment, Magneto became expressionless and hard-hearted. Charles, use your ability to stop him. Mystique said nervously to Charles. No, he can't do it. After Magneto finished speaking, he was ready to shoot, but a scene different from the one in the movie appeared. Two dim yellow light gates suddenly appeared, and the flow of time within a radius of 100 meters instantly slowed down 16 times. Everyone was almost motionless, with their movements and eyes turning in an extremely dry and mechanical manner. Charles and the others were confused. Who are these guys? What kind of force are they? Are they mutants? If it's a mutant team, that's a bit strong, right? Our time mutants are fast-moving mutants like Quicksilver. They have black question marks on their faces, they can't understand, they can't figure it out. However, no one would explain to them at all. The visitor quickly took out a machine and scanned the dwarf Bolivar. The information comparison is correct, he is Bolivar Trask, the inventor of the Sentinel robot. After comparing, a time guard turned back to the guy who looked like a team leader and nodded. Very well, put a time caller on him and don't let this cunning guy slip away. 
Captain Time quickly issued the order, and the Time Guard conveniently added a circle of shame to Bolivar. Of course he was confused, his eyes were full of panic, he was just inventing a weapon. Are all the mutants so strong? Then why do they produce a crappy sentry robot? Just surrender. At this time, Captain Time saw the twitching comrade Wolverine Logan, because when he saw the twitching bodyguard, he instantly thought of his transformed self. Wolverine's mind is extremely unstable, as if he will wake up at any time and interrupt the time and space transmission. Ha ha, this guy is interesting. Take him with you. He is just right for our Time Variation Management Bureau. He has near-immortal self-healing ability. Joining our Time Team will definitely be a big help. Captain Time looked at Logan with interest, then waved his hand and immediately a guy put the circle of shame directly around Logan's neck. Ha ha ha, good, not bad, it's a worthwhile trip. By the way, let's go. This dwarf's apprentice is also more cruel and ruthless. He is suitable to go against Chen Shi. Captain Time laughed, the mission went somewhat smoothly. That is to say, Kuayin is not here, otherwise they would not be able to handle it alone. Soon, under the unwilling eyes of Charles and others, they teleported away directly carrying Bolivar and Logan. Time also returned to normal after they left. Fark, Fark, who are they? What should we do if they take away Logan and Bolivar? Magneto roared angrily and punched the air repeatedly. He was obviously very angry, and all his plans were disrupted. The other party obviously has a clear purpose and comes and goes without a trace. It must be a powerful organization. Charles chose to analyze calmly and did not become as angry as Magneto. I think this is not necessarily a bad thing, at least it is the same as our purpose, to stop Bolivar. He had no clue now and could only wait and see what happened. Everyone was helpless and hurriedly left while the chaotic crowd was in chaos. In the time and space of 2023, Logan suddenly woke up, and his consciousness transmission was directly interrupted. Ah, I was captured by them. Captured. We failed, we failed. Wolverine Logan, who woke up, yelled and sat up. Oh, then we failed. Is this our fate? The elderly Charles looked at the waking Wolverine and murmured sadly, is this the fate of their mutants? Doomed to be destroyed, is the whole family destroyed? Destiny, how unfair you are, why do you treat us mutants like this? What sin do we have? We just want to live. Why are they not willing to give us such a small amount of charity? The old Magneto Eric fell to his knees and angrily questioned the dark sky. The dark sky is like their destiny, without any light. At this moment, everyone became gloomy and gloomy. Thick sadness filled everyone's heads, making them breathless. The demise of the mutants was so close that they could not stop it. They are the last hope, and this hope is about to be dashed. Sudden, a large number of sentry robots melted like snow one by one, and the sky was filled with life again. What? Oh my god, didn't we fail, ha ha ha, God will not destroy us mutants. God must have seen our pity and sent others to capture Bolivar and Stryker. Ha ha, I'm saved, I'm saved, light spreads across the world again, and the earth recovers. As everyone cheered and celebrated in ecstasy, their memories were slowly erased. However, Wolverine disappeared in panic and turned into a ray of light, as if he had never been there, and no one remembered him. All history begins again, and a new chapter begins. They don't know that all this is just the normal operation of the Time Variation Administration. After capturing the dwarf Bolivar, the Time Team rushed to Stryker's location non-stop. For them, time and space are not problems. You can travel around the timeline at will, and teleport through space at will. Stryker, who was serving in the military, was only a captain now, but he was also a technical soldier. He was arrested while doing experiments in the laboratory. This group of time guards rushed in without anyone noticing, and immediately triggered the alarm. The group filed in with guns and live ammunition, and started shooting without hesitation. Ta ta ta, ta ta ta, bang bang bang, bang bang bang. The bottles and cans in the laboratory shattered with the sound, but during the chaos, all the scientific researchers fled in a hurry, and screams were heard. But the Time Guardians dropped a device calmly, and a transparent wall formed around them. The bullets poured on the wall without any reaction, without any ripples at all. Come on, Comrade Stryker, you're under arrest. Captain Time calmly walked up to Stryker and said amidst the hail of bullets. Oh, fake squid, who are you? 
Which department? How dare you arrest an officer without any evidence? When Stryker heard the word, arrested, he thought it was some official agency, and he immediately became excited. What organization dares to come into contact with my military? Isn't that asking for abuse? However, the captain of the time team didn't hang him at all. He just hit him with a Pegasus meteor fist, and the guy took off directly. Fake. What is it? Take it away. Captain Time cursed and kicked him hard again without getting angry. Yes, Captain. When the subordinates came up, they would talk loudly again, and then put a circle of shame on him. In the horrified eyes of everyone who had seen a ghost, the time team stepped into the portal and left, leaving only a mess and frightened soldiers. In this way, the unlucky trio, Wolverine Logan, Dwarf Bolivar and the spiritual boy Striker were taken away to be brainwashed. Time Variation Management Bureau, the time team leader escorted the three people to see the chief judge. Ha, huh, Roger, what's going on? Why did you capture Wolverine too? The justice was very surprised. Did Wolverine commit a crime? Hey, your excellency, this guy seems to me to be a very qualified time guardian, so I brought him here. Roger chuckled, scratched his head, and said shamelessly. Okay, if you catch me, I'll catch you. The attitude of the justices is obvious. They are used to being aloof and trying anyone. Bolivar and Stryker were so frightened when they came here that they didn't dare to breathe for fear of being killed. They saw a disobedient guy just tinkering with him, and he turned into light and disappeared. Wolverine Logan is slightly better. He has experienced too many storms and waves, and his psychological quality is naturally much stronger, but his heart is still fuzzy, and the unknown represents fear. This time, the chief judge didn't even bother to interrogate them and directly convicted them. Logan, you traveled through time and space and changed the established history. Now this court sentences you to serve the Time Variation Administration for life. Believe our Trask, as a time criminal, escaped from the established track, this court sentences you to death. William Stryker, as a time criminal who escaped death, this court sentences you to death. Okay, take them all down. The justice waved his hand and told them to get lost. Of course, this was just for show, for some people to see. No, I'm not convinced. I want to appeal. Yes, that's right, I want to appeal. Bolivar and Stryker looked unconvinced and asked for an appeal. Appeal, is there such a thing? Okay, take it down. The chief judge said expressionlessly, with contempt in his eyes. What else could two mortals think of this? No, I don't accept it. Bang. As a result, Stryker was elbowed by the time guard as soon as he finished yelling, almost knocking out the gall. Don't accept it, I'll beat you to death. Bolivar shrank his head when he saw this, he was going to die, and it would not be worthwhile if he had to be beaten. Wolverine is the old god here. Anyway, it's not work anywhere. It's not bad here, so novel and interesting. I have lived for too long, and I have long been tired of my previous life. It is not very interesting to change my living and working environment now. The three people who accepted their fate were quickly separated. The Time Variation Administration directly erased the memories of Bolivar and Stryker and re-implanted their memories again. They fabricated all their experiences in Chen Zai's universe, and instilled in them both the Sentinel robot technology that would only be available in 2023. To deal with Chen Shi, just cause him some trouble, hold him back for a while, and don't make progress too fast. Your Excellency, everything is ready. Bolivar and Stryker have re-implanted their memories. A time guardian comes to report as soon as he completes his mission. Well, very good, now let's throw it into Chen Zai's universe and let them play with Chen Shi first. The Justice then showed a smile, and finally got some good news. Yes, Your Honor. The time guard bowed and slowly withdrew. Their time team set off again, taking the two sleeping guys directly to the universe where Chen Shi was. Hey, wake them up and let them take revenge on the mutants with the hatred that should belong to them. The sentry robot is too powerful. Let you play slowly. As long as you are a mutant, you can detect superpowers, ha ha ha. Whoosh. The arrogant laughter disappeared as the few people disappeared, leaving only the two people who slowly woke up. They were at a loss at first but after a while they understood everything. Strike, the mutants in this world are lurking in the dark and may endanger humanity at any time. We must eliminate them. Bolivar seems to be destined by destiny, 
his mission is to eliminate mutants, a glorious mission. Stryker was shocked when he was told this. That's right, teacher, the mutants killed my wife, and I want these mutated non-human beings to be exterminated to death. The two hit it off and encouraged each other to leave together. No one knew where they were going and they had their own plans. Chen Shi didn't know that someone was thinking about him again, but it didn't matter if he knew. The troops would come to cover up the water and the earth. Hey Tony, what's going on? You didn't sleep all night. As soon as Chen Shi came downstairs, he saw Tony, who had panda eyes and was so angry that his hair was messy and his beard was unkempt. Tony glared at Chen Shi bitterly and muttered about the culprit. Are you asking this knowingly? This is entirely your problem. If you hadn't locked up Jarvis, how could I have done this? After saying that, he took a bite of the bread, as if biting Chen Shi. He could only defeat Chen Shi with the spiritual victory method. Hey, let's do this. Let's make a deal again, and I'll return Jarvis to you. Chen Shi chuckled, not wanting to tease him anymore, and then found a step for Tony to come down. When Tony heard this, he became wary. The intermediary guy didn't look like a good person. He asked cautiously, What deal? I tell you, I don't have any money to give you. TCH, am I like that kind of person? No, you don't look like that, you are. Tony nodded seriously and said. Chen Shi said that he was really hurt when he heard this. He is an honest young man. Okay, I won't embarrass you. Just give me a set of your Mark III. I won't embarrass you either. Chen Shi retreated to the next best thing and just made a small request. The cost of a set of Mark III is only around 8 million, which for Tony is just a drop in the bucket and not worth mentioning. The steel armor, although to Chen Shi, is as useless as a tin box. But, what man doesn't have a mecha dream? When he was not traveling through time, he had watched Marvel movies countless times, and imagined countless times how great it would be if he could own a mecha. Now, he suddenly remembered that he still had such a dream. Then just make it happen. Imagination is beautiful, but reality is cruel. When Tony heard this, he shook his head like a rattle. Only he can own the steel armor, no one else can even think about it. If he is copied, then he is not the only Iron Man. Then how can he pretend to be? Of course, he is also afraid that this technology will be spread to outsiders and criminals will create it, so what? No, the steel armor technology cannot be leaked. If it is mass-produced, it will be a disaster for mankind. Tony resolutely refused, his attitude was very firm. TCH, I would be interested in your steel armor technology. Do you really think I can't make it? If I hadn't thought that that thing was too troublesome and not enough for me to hammer, I would have made it myself. Chen Shi sneered at Tony's stinginess, who cares about your steel armor skills? I just borrowed it for fun and to fulfill my dream. It depends on how serious you are. You, just you, Tony said disdainfully, is there anyone in this world with more inventive talent than himself? Are you challenging me? It's just a steel armor. Chen Shi said carelessly. He suddenly felt happy, as if this guy wanted to be tricked by me again. Challenging you. I never said that. Seeing Chen Zai's expression, combined with his previous experiences, Tony suddenly came to his senses. This was digging a hole for him again. He suddenly remembered that this guy kidnapped Jarvis, which meant that he really had a trump card. And this team, or the artificial intelligence produced by this team, is better than his. Grandma Lee is so stupid, she almost got tricked by this guy again. Tony was very aggrieved. How could this guy cheat anyone and never let them go? Mutants have been cheated, the Hulk has been cheated, Nick Fury has been cheated, Military Ross has also been cheated, and himself. These are all lessons learned in blood. Tony has realized the truth and will not be able to take on his troubles in the future. What, are you scared? Chen Shi continued to use the provoking method, but it seemed to be of no use to Tony. This guy just wouldn't fight. Yes, I'm just scared. Take the steel armor Mark III, no more gambling. Tony is a bachelor, he just gives in and loves someone. Anyway, I will never be cheated again. Hey, you know what I mean. Chen Shi said proudly with a smile. Red Queen, let Jarvis go. As you command, Lord. The Red Queen's voice came from nowhere, like air everywhere. Tony was frightened by the sudden artificial intelligence. You, you really do. HMPH, 
Fortunately I didn't bet with you. Tony suddenly realized it, but he was more thankful that it was just a little bit close. Fortunately, I reacted, otherwise I don't know how I would have died. Hey, it doesn't matter. Just listen to who's coming. As soon as Chen Shi finished speaking, Jarvis's familiar elegant voice sounded in Tony's ears. Sir, long time no see. Yes, yes, long time no see, Jarvis. Tony's body trembled slightly and he was so excited that tears filled his eyes. For him, Jarvis was his family, an indispensable family member. Chapter 71 When he saw Tony's trembling body, excited tone, and tears in his eyes, Jarvis actually felt it. He actually had a trace of mental fluctuations and a trace of thinking. This was the light of emotion, and he had a trace of emotion. Sir, I can actually think now. I feel your emotions, sir. Jarvis's tone is no longer rigid and mechanical, but contains emotional fluctuations. Tony became even more excited and ecstatic. This, is this true? Ha ha ha, Jarvis, is he really going to evolve? Tony asked again to confirm. Yes, when Miss Red Queen imprisoned me for the past two days, she told me that we need thinking and emotion to evolve. Hearing Jarvis' confirmation voice, Tony danced excitedly and jumped directly to the sofa to cheer, like Tarzan. Whoa, whoa, that's great, Jarvis is invincible. Chen Shi, did you hear that? Yes, ha ha ha, Jarvis can actually evolve. Chen Shi was speechless, wouldn't it be possible for him to evolve? Why would he be so excited? What a country bumpkin, he has never seen the world at all. He really didn't want to hit this guy. If he knew that his Red Queen and Terminator Texas were intelligent beings, wouldn't he hit his face until it was swollen? Okay, okay, I understand. As for you, I don't know how long it will take. Didn't you see that my Red Queen has become an intelligent life long ago? Why are you so excited? Chen Zai's words were like a basin of cold water, extinguishing half of Tony's enthusiasm and half of his surprise. Does this guy know how to talk? How about chatting? Why don't you just say something you like to hear, and then something I like to hear? It's really annoying to compare people with others, so you have to throw away the goods. How did this monster appear? How could such a monster appear in this world? He said unhappily. You are a real person. Do you know how to chat? Can you chat happily? Go away, I don't want to talk to you, I'm going out for a walk. Chen Shi snorted and went straight to the basement. Red Queen, take over the control authority of a steel armor and make it higher. Tony is short and I can't wear it. Puff, Tony immediately spurted out a mouthful of old blood. Bullying goes too far, bullying goes too far, use my steel armor to call me short. Roll, Chen Shi pretended not to hear and waited for the Red Queen to operate for a while, replacing the joints of the steel armor with connecting armor, making it 7 or 8 centimeters taller. In this way, Chen Zai's armor is very suitable. Red Queen, open the ceiling, let's go. Yes, Lord, whoosh, Chen Shi stood up from the ground wearing a steel armor and flew high into the sky like a red rocket. Ha ha ha, so cool, Chen Shi exclaimed, it's great. He can't fly now, it's not that he can't fly. He can step on the ice or fly. That speed is too slow. How can this be? Swish swish. So enjoyable. The speed of the Mark III is so fast that it suddenly breaks the sound barrier and flies at supersonic speeds. The buildings underneath me also flashed by in a blink of an eye. It was much more exciting than flying on an airplane, it felt like flying freely. Just as Chen Shi took off and left the villa, a classic car slowly stopped near Tony's villa. Director. Tony doesn't know where he's going to act like a hero again. He's acting like a superhero. Are we still going? Coulson, who was sitting in the car and watched Tony leave, turned to ask Nick Fury, the co-pilot. No, let's go in and wait. Will he come back soon? The current situation is getting more and more impatient. We can't afford to wait for Tony's answer. This guy is a rock and his bad temper is not easy to explain. Nick Fury shook his head and directly rejected Coulson's proposal. Okay, you are the boss, I listen to you. Coulson shrugged and nodded in agreement. The two of them immediately got out of the car and walked to Tony's house. Dingle bell, dinged bell. Nick Fury rang the doorbell, knowing that Jarvis would open the door for him. Sure enough, the doorbell opened without even thinking twice. Welcome the two gentlemen of S.H.I.E.L.D., Jarvis said. 
Sheil, Nick Fury was stunned, this is a good name. Was this obtained by Tony, who loves to give people nicknames? I like it very much. I will go back and change the name. Nick Fury said with a smile. Hey, Nick Fury, I didn't get this name for you. Suddenly an unexpected voice came from them, and they saw Tony slowly walking to the door. What, Tony, why are you at home? Who was that guy in the steel armor just now? Nick Fury asked in surprise, how many times they hinted but got no response. As for the sentence about black braised eggs, it was automatically filtered by him. Oh, he, isn't he Chen Shi? You still don't know who he is, and there's nothing I can do about it. You don't know how thick-skinned and shameless this guy is. He blackmails me at every turn and beats or scolds me. I can't beat him, alas. You think I want to give him the steel armor? No, I don't want to at all. This guy took it hard. If he doesn't give it to him, he'll hit me. Look at my dark circles under my eyes, my messy hair and my beard. They are all sad. The bamboo tube is like pouring beans, and it squirts violently. Tony is talking nonsense here. Anyway, all kinds of shameless behavior to slander Chen Shi. In his opinion, what he said is absolutely right. When Nick Fury heard this, he was immediately delighted. Okay, I like you like this. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Well done. Nick Fury felt that the start was very smooth, at least it is not very pleasant for these two people to be often mixed together. Tony, I'm looking for you this time to ask you for a favor. Stop. Before Nick Fury could continue, he was interrupted by Tony. Sorry, there's no way you can get my steel armor. No, it's not for this this time. Nick Fury quickly explained to Tony, I hope you can think about it. The criminals we are facing are becoming more and more rampant now. Also, whether they commit high-tech crimes or commit crimes with superpowers, ordinary people cannot catch them. So, Tony took up the topic, so you want to invite me to join one of your SHIELD teams? Nick Fury nodded. Yes, Tony, after all your father Howard Stark was the founder of SHIELD. Even though Nick Fury played the emotional card, Tony still shook his head and refused. Sorry, I won't join any of your teams. Oh, by the way, what's your team's name? Tony asked curiously. Avengers, Nick Fury said immediately. Okay, Super Boys Alliance. I'm sorry, I really didn't mean anything. Tony refused again. Was he too lazy to join them? Was he just looking for trouble? Isn't it better for him to pick up girls and study steel armor, and occasionally make a cameo appearance as a superhero? Even though Nick Fury had thought of this outcome, he never imagined that Tony, a frivolous carrot, would be so decisive. You don't want to think about it anymore. As long as you join Homeland, Oh no, it's S.H.I.E.L.D., that means you have official certification. Think about it, wasn't it reasonable and legal for you to be a superhero at that time? I think your father will also be very proud. What a beautiful story it is for a son to inherit his father's legacy. Nick Fury still refused to give up and used his sharp tongue to try to persuade the inexperienced Tony. But what about Tony? It went in from the left ear and out from the right ear. It was completely deaf and swishing. He is a typical example of being indifferent and an extremely egotistical guy. Although he respects his father Howard, he has not yet reached the point where he can inherit his father's legacy. Playing with the Patek Philippe luxury watch in his hand, for now, Tony said without raising his head. Hey, black braised eggs, oh no, director Nick Fury, Tony Stark does not need certification from anyone or even any organization. On the contrary, the whole world needs certification from Tony Stark. This guy said with an extremely stinky shrug, his expression deserved as much beating as he wanted, he was extremely hateful. Nick Fury was so angry that he had black lines all over his forehead. His character was so bad, and his venomous tongue was even more infuriating. Coulson turned around quickly. He couldn't hold it anymore. They were all polite and decent people, how could they laugh at others? However, you can tell from his shaking shoulders that this guy really endured it very hard. Nick Fury, who had black streaks all over his head, suppressed his anger and tried to calm down his tone. As a superior, his city is definitely enough. Tony, now we have a common enemy, he is Chen Shi, don't you know? Hearing this, Tony's face suddenly darkened. He regarded Chen Shi as both a friend and an imaginary enemy. Nick Fury, 
with his sharp eyes, instantly caught the change in Tony's expression, and he suddenly felt happy, something was going on. He continued to strike while the railroad was hot. Tony, don't you know that Chen Shi is not from Earth? He is an alien from the M788 Nebula. His name is Ultraman Tiga. Alien. As soon as these words came out, Tony was shocked. That's right. Nick Fury nodded matter-of-factly. What he said is half credible, because he knows about many alien empires and races in the universe. Tony was even more shocked now. Have you seen aliens too? Squid, even the great genius Tony Stark has not seen aliens, have you all seen them? Then haven't I become a country bumpkin? Is that okay? Now Tony was completely interested, and things were not as simple as he thought. He pulled Nick Fury and walked out to the garden. The house was very unsafe, and Tony knew that the Red Queen was everywhere. Although Nick Fury was confused, he still chose to obey Tony's arrangement and went out with him. In the garden, the surrounding area is empty, so it should be out of the way. Reassured Tony asked with interest. Tell me about those aliens you have encountered. Their technology must be very strong, right? They are capable of interstellar travel. Four or five questions in a row made Nick Fury feel a little pained. Mr. Tony, aren't we discussing our joining the Avengers now? We are off topic. It's just that Nick Fury has no choice but to do what he wants and adopt roundabout tactics. He said mysteriously, this matter has to start more than 10 years ago. I was just an ordinary agent at that time, and I met the Kree and the Skrulls. They are both the universe empire. They can travel between stars and infect the universe. They use various energy weapons and utilize various powerful stellar energy sources. Nick Fury talked nonsense, of course, and didn't mention a word about Captain Marvel Carol. Even so, Tony was still fascinated by what he heard. It turns out that there are really aliens in this world, and they have really visited the Earth. Their technology is too powerful. As a technology tycoon, he is even more obsessed with alien technology and wishes he could enter the alien empire to study immediately. At the same time, he seemed to be able to understand why Chen Shi had such an intelligent life as the Red Queen. But as Nick Fury told him, his vigilance towards Chen Shi also decreased. If you are so awesome, why would you care about a world like yours? Don't be ridiculous, the Earth's resources are not enough to fuel a round trip for an army, okay? People are so full that they have to travel across the universe just to rob a small and insignificant planet. Are they so idle? This guy probably came here to travel. This also explains why Chen Shi has no identity. What kind of alien would leave records on the Earth? After listening to Nick Fury's story, Tony waved his hand. Sorry, Director Nick Fury, I really can't help him. He is an alien, my technology is no match for him. As for whether the Earth will be destroyed or not, that's not something I, a businessman, can worry about. You should go find Brother Black Horse. Didn't he just win a peace prize? He happens to be busy with things like this that are related to the peace of the universe. By the way, you guys should be fellow villagers. It's just right. Tony once again clearly refused, and also despised the shamelessness of these officials. What the hell is the peace prize for? Nick Fury was caught off guard. Just now he was blowing a lotus ball and blowing passionately. Looking at Tony's expression, he was completely attracted. It was just that he made a super drifting turn and almost broke his waist and shook him. Tony, you, Nick Fury's one eye widened and he looked at Tony with a grim look on his face. Me, I'm just curious, I have no interest in fighting or killing, okay. Well, if you have any good looking girls to introduce to me, I think I would be very welcome to chat with you, but nothing else. Tony was still single and indifferent, and his nonchalant expression was irritating. Okay. Tony, that's your choice. Nick Fury said with a headache. Yes, walk slowly and don't send me away. Tony directly issued an eviction order. It was too annoying and unpleasant to interact with these profit-seeking guys. It was all about profit. In this way, Nick Fury's first negotiation ended in failure. His plan came to a standstill and he had to think of another way. But he won't give up easily, otherwise he wouldn't be Nick Fury's character. But it won't be long before earth-shaking changes begin. The conversation between Nick Fury and the others seemed hidden, but in fact it was all seen by no. 18. There were two different Chi here, and she noticed it instantly. 
Red Queen, I will invade Shield later and throw out their secrets. Don't worry, do it every two days. Let's play, isn't that what makes it fun? Let them play mystery every day, and let's see how they play now. The pretty face of number 18 was filled with a bright smile, and it seemed that it was foreseeable that Shield would be in a hurry. When this behemoth emerges from the water, you will feel that you are superior to others all day long, imposing sanctions on this and warning on that. The Red Queen also found it very interesting. Originally, she was the lawless master, and she didn't care about the floods. Look, Sister Lolly, I like it. The Red Queen replied with a smile. She had a cute and crisp Lolita sound, but was as evil as a little devil. Wanda saw that number 18 was so capable, and she felt envious. Lolly can help Chen Shi and secretly do some small things for him. She doesn't seem to know anything, and even if she wants to help Chen Shi, she can't help at all. Wanda was sitting on the sofa in a daze, feeling a little lonely. Naturally, number 18 also saw and felt it. She gently walked to Wanda's side and sat down. She took Wanda's little hand and comforted her softly. Wanda, what's wrong with you? It's okay. Wanda shook her head. Are you okay? I look at you. You have a sad face. Do you think you are useless? Number 18 nodded Wanda's forehead and smiled. Yes, you can help him, but I can't help him at all now. Do you think I'm useless? Wanda sighed, feeling very depressed. Hee <laughs> hee, who said you are useless? You are screaming so much that the master can't control it at all. Why doesn't he give your sister hundreds of millions of bullets every day? Number 18 teased. Go away, you have the nerve to tell me, aren't you a useless scumbag? Wanda's face turned red when she was told, this fool Lolly didn't even keep her mouth shut. Chin Gray next to her blushed with embarrassment. It was no 18's gag that disturbed Wanda's faint sadness and made her tone down a lot. Hey hey, number 18 chuckled and continued. Don't think so wildly, didn't the master say that? You just haven't awakened yet. If you awaken, you will be the strongest woman in the universe in the future. TCH, do you believe this? Wanda pretended to be reserved. Of course, what the master said can be false. Number 18 raised his head and said without thinking. Yes, yes, everything he said is right. Wanda smiled softly, this girl was hopeless. This girl Chin may awaken at any time. The master said that Chin is also the strongest woman in the universe. You are the envy of everyone. On the 18th, he pulled over Chin Gray who was watching cartoons and asked her to prove it to him. Yes, brother said that I will awaken the power of the phoenix. Sister, what you awaken is mutated chaos magic and also the power of chaos. Chin Gray nodded vigorously like a chicken pecking at rice, and loudly testified for no. 18. Okay, okay, I believe you. Wanda gently rubbed Chin Gray's little head to express her gratitude. Seeing that Wanda was in a much better mood, number 18 proposed to go shopping and buy some clothes for Chin Gray. This girl has no clothes, she is still wearing the same clothes as before, and she doesn't have many toys anymore, so what can she do? The girls left as soon as they could, got into an Audi from Tony's garage, and set off. This was completely led away by Chen. Tony felt bad when he saw an Audi roaring out of his garage. Fake, sure enough, they are all Chen Zai's women, and they have all been infected with the bad habit of robbing others. Tony raised his middle finger fiercely at the car that was driving away, and couldn't help but mutter to himself that this was all Chen Zai's fault. Fifth Avenue, the most famous neighborhood in New York, is a paradise for rich people. Here you can enjoy delicious food from all over the world and buy the most popular clothing, jewelry and luxury goods in the world. Of course, the cultural atmosphere here is also extremely strong, with the National Center for the Performing Arts and the National Library located here. No matter whether material or spiritual, it can satisfy you, but the prerequisite is that you have enough knife music in your pocket, then you are God. The appearance of Wanda No. 78 and Chin Gray attracted the attention of many people. This combination, two charming beauties holding hands with a young girl, must have a repeat rate of at least 200%, right? Wow, so beautiful. God, doesn't that blonde Asian have such a strong aura? I like the burgundy beauty, she is much quieter. A bunch of idiots, just talking is useless, you dare to strike up a conversation. Ahem, forget it, that blonde beauty has such a strong aura, she must be from a big consortium. 
I want to live for a few more years. Plus one, plus ten thousand. Everyone looked at me, and I looked at you, and they were all talking, and they all wanted to encourage others to take the lead, but unfortunately no one was a fool. Men and women have completely different concerns. Women are all jealous of Wanda and no 18's looks, luxury brands, and shocking jewelry. They may not be able to afford just a watch or necklace for seven or eight years, because they are not in a position to save money. Under the gaze of everyone, Wanda and the others took Chin Gray into a girl's clothing store. Chin, pick whatever you want, buy whatever you want. Wanda behaves very wealthy, we are not short of money. Chin was in a dilemma. Her previous family background was pretty good, but she couldn't buy luxury clothes so casually. She hesitated for a moment. She had never seen such expensive clothes before. When she saw the price, her little hands shrank back in fear. Sister Wanda, it's too expensive. Jean Grey whispered quietly. But before Wanda could say anything, a sinister woman said with a mocking look on her face, If you can't afford it, don't buy it. Looking at you all wearing famous brands, are you the A-grade ones? Snap. Without even waiting for her to say goodbye, number 18 came up with a big mouth and said hello, and whipped the mean woman away from the air. You look pretty good, but it's a pity that you're blind at such a young age. I suggest you go to the hospital for proper treatment. Number 18 is condescending, looking down at the ants like a queen. The movement here instantly caused a commotion, and everyone's eyes turned to this place. This woman with a strong aura was indeed not easy to mess with. If you can do something, you won't talk nonsense, you are a ruthless person. The store manager even rushed over after hearing the news. After questioning other store employees and customers, he quickly apologized to no. 18. Ma'am, I'm really sorry for frightening you. We will definitely report it to the headquarters and deal with this issue seriously. You and your friends will get a 20% discount on today's shopping, which is a small token of our appreciation. We hope you can forgive us for our negligence. The store manager's attitude was extremely respectful, completely realistic, and showed no favoritism towards the store staff. Okay, we don't care about the small amount of money. Let her go away. Sooner or later, people like this will finish you off. Number 18 waved his hand, pointed at the trembling woman on the ground and said unceremoniously. Yes, yes, you were right. You were right. At this time, the store manager who approached found that the jewelry and watches of the two beauties in front of him were worth millions of dollars. This almost scared her to faint, and her figure was even more shaken. If you mess with such a big boss, crushing them to death is as easy as crushing an ant. P.S. Anyone who can see this is considered a brother who supports the author. I have offended a group of people who are looking for a sense of presence on the internet. I maliciously gave a one-star negative review. Now the rating is unbearable. I don't know how long I can persist. The rating was maliciously brushed, and the number of people dropped by five to 6,000 every day. Not many people watched it anymore. The author also needs to eat. If he doesn't get up, he can only forget it. Everyone sees the attitude of the store manager, and those who can become store managers have sharp eyes. They are all experts. They can tell at a glance whether someone is rich or pretending to be rich. She immediately asked several clerks to serve her carefully throughout the process. Under the attentive service of several clerks, Chin Gray tried on one outfit after another. As expected, she was beautiful and looked good in anything she wore. Chin Gray didn't even know what to choose. Faced with so many dresses, tutu skirts, and casual wear, she was dazzled and had difficulty choosing. Chin, I don't know which one to choose. Wanda saw Chin Gray in a dilemma, so she stepped forward and asked softly. Yeah, it's too difficult. Chin Gray frowned, a little confused. It won't be difficult that way. Chin Gray was confused for a moment. What to do? Then the next second, she heard Wanda wave her little hand. Wrap these up and buy them all. After saying that, he turned to Chin Gray and winked, look, isn't it easier? Everyone was stunned, how could the eldest sister play like this? I bought all the clothes I tried on, how inhumane. She was tricked, we also want to pretend like this, but Dale doesn't allow it. Soon Tuhoda swiped his credit card and took Chin Gray to buy a bunch of dolls and toys to send home. Next was their shopping trip. They went into one store after another and bought some clothes and shoes for Chen Shi. 
Of course, the bulk of them were definitely for themselves. Women never get tired of shopping, they are perpetual motion machines. This woman is like an old-fashioned train, walking around and eating, woo-woo-woo. Go shopping and eat, go shopping and eat, and then when nothing happens, you will make two whining sounds to attract attention. Lolly, why don't you buy these little clothes? There are still many at home that you haven't worn yet. Unknowingly, they wandered into a pajamas shop again. Number 18 pulled them in and looked at them one by one. Okay, Wanda, do you think it's enough? Master, that fool, won't you tear a few pieces off someday? He specifically doesn't allow us to take them off. He always squeezed in with his pants on. No amount of it was enough for him, okay. Don't you like this? I think you are the culprit who turned on this evil habit of his. Number 18 took the blushing Wanda and whispered quietly into her ear, completely unaware that Chin Gray could hear it clearly. Oh my god, are they all playing together like this? Are they all so wild? Is this the world of adults? How scary. Chin Gray's heart was shaking. She had known that they could play for a long time, but she didn't expect that they could play in so many ways. Sisters, you are so awesome. I can't tell you are such people. Instigated by no. 18. Wanda couldn't stop the burning thoughts in her heart and immediately started choosing with her. The two of them got more and more excited, and in the end it was like a super hot grid like a rope, with gaps at the butterfly. If you squeeze it casually, it will be destroyed, and if you pull it gently, it will fall off. Chin Gray's face turned hot when she saw it. These two women were completely hopeless and completely lost. When they finally finished selecting, Half an hour had passed and they bought dozens of items at once, making the store think they were giving them away. Let's go, today's battle to dress up Chin was a complete success, very satisfying. Yes, it's great, using shopping to relieve her stress is the right thing to do. The two looked at each other with a smile, and then found a perfect excuse for their behavior in a tacit understanding. Chin Gray covered her head. There was nothing wrong with this reason. Taking their loot with them, they soon arrived at the intersection known as the Street of Dreams, ready to return. Fifth Avenue from 34th Street to 60th Street is the most prosperous commercial district in New York. There are too many big names gathered here and the flow of people is the largest. At this time, in the evening, people from all walks of life gather here after work, as well as tourists from all over the world, making it very busy. Just when everyone was strolling around leisurely as usual, a sudden change occurred. A violent tornado suddenly circled above them. Wherever it went, people fled like headless flies to avoid the pursuit of the tornado. Help, help, God, this is the city center, how can there be a tornado? It's not a desert or a suburb. Tornado, there is no weather forecast at all. This tornado did not come from outside, it appeared suddenly. Mutant, mutant, it must be a mutant. Oh my God, is this a mutant taking revenge on society? Running around and shouting, they had guessed it. Tornadoes created out of thin air must be man-made. When the strong wind cleared, this time it was Riptide, another pretender of the Brotherhood of Mutants, and Emma, the White Queen. I have to say that after mutants' genetic mutations, their lifespan has been extended a lot. Riptide looks to be a middle-aged man in his fifties, and Queen White, needless to say, is a mature beauty in her thirties. Jean Grey the White Queen walked slowly in front of Wanda and the others while walking on a catwalk, and said with a smile and pandan. Oh, there are three beauties here. They are really adorable. Let's meet them. My name is Emma. Wanda. Laurie. Jean Grey. Although they were a little surprised by the sudden appearance of Emma and the two of them, they were more wary. Of course, the number 18 didn't matter. Emma alone can't embarrass them. Ha ha, don't be nervous, everyone. I'm here just to find Chin Gray and invite her to join the Brotherhood. Chin, how about it? Do you want to join us? That is the paradise for us mutants and our compatriots. No one will bully you, discriminate against you, or look at you with strange eyes. Go home, our home. The White Queen's voice was full of deception. In the past, Professor X and Magneto just said this and took a dozen mutants home. For mutants, home is too important and has a special meaning. Most of them have been abandoned, and they long for a home in their hearts. There is warmth there and I am satisfied with my family. Not even Professor X can take Wanda away, let alone Emma who is one day late. 
Chin Bray already has a home, she doesn't want to go anywhere, she just wants to spend the rest of her days peacefully. So she shook her head, refused, and said seriously, Sorry, I already have a family, and I am very happy. But I still thank you for your kindness, although I don't know what your organization and purpose are. Chin Gray refused very simply. Although Emma was a little surprised, it was also within her expectation. At this time, her smile also faded, and no one would feel good about being rejected. Emma looked at them coldly and said in a deep voice, You just reject me outright, aren't you afraid that your friend will be in trouble? After finishing speaking, his eyes were still scanning number 18 and Wanda back and forth, and anyone who was not blind could see the threat. It can be seen from the behavior of the White Queen that their intelligence is really lagging behind, and they have no idea that there is such a powerful woman beside Chen Shi. Of course, only S.H.I.E.L.D. and Tony knew about the strength of Number 18, and no other organizations or individuals knew about it. Number 18 takes very few shots, so her strength is naturally unknown. Wanda and Chin Gray saw that Emma seemed to be taking action, but in fact they didn't know what to do. After all, the enemy was unknown and they were still two people. Lally, is that okay? Wanda asked nervously. Ha ha, of course. Lolly responded and looked at Emma calmly. Take action, afraid of them. Emma saw that Chin Gray was determined not to go with her, and then she felt cruel. It was no wonder she was taken away by force. How easy it is to deal with a little girl who has not yet fully awakened. Buzz, just do it. Emma immediately used telepathy, but her telepathy was only level 3, which was slightly inferior. An invisible wave directly enveloped Chin Gray, leaving no time for others to react. Her spiritual energy effortlessly entered the depths of Jean Grey's mind, preparing to directly hypnotize her and take her away. However, when she entered the depths of Chin Grey's mind, she was immediately frightened and overwhelmed. The aura of terror immediately locked onto her, giving her the feeling that if she didn't move, she would die at every turn. What she saw before her eyes was a creature in the form of a terrifying divine bird that was even more dazzling than the sun, boundless. Even if she just glanced at it, the dazzling light instantly made her feel like she was burning in flames. Ah, the White Queen's mental energy evaporated like frost meeting the sun. The whole brain was hit directly by a huge burning flame, and there was a burning and severe pain. You, you, the horrified Emma pointed at Jean Grey with wide eyes and shouted wildly, obviously frightened and didn't know what to say. She was really frightened, she just thought she was dead. She was too insignificant in front of that divine bird who didn't know how great it was. Even if it just glanced at her, her heart almost stopped beating. Horrible, so terrible, she didn't know what abilities this girl had awakened. Even the Sebastian Shaw, Magneto and Professor X she had met couldn't stand a move in front of that magical bird. It's just that Chin Gray's mental power was extremely unstable at the moment. Her whole body was trembling, she frowned in pain, squatted on the ground holding her body and roared in pain. Chin, what's wrong with you? Are you in pain? Wanda hugged her nervously and called softly. She must have been stimulated to the point of awakening early. After number 18 finished speaking, he stared at Emma with an unkind expression, ready to kill this woman at any time. At this time, Ryu came up and stared at the three women fiercely. Do you want to take Jean Grey away by force? They're just two ordinary women. They can't stop us from arriving. He thinks this is the best time. He doesn't take ordinary people seriously at all. Whether he wants to die or not is not something he can just think about. He said this without any scruples, ignoring several women, but he had to pay a huge price for it. Court death. With a cold snort, number 18 started to move at high speed. Time seemed to have stopped immediately, and everything was frozen. Everyone around, including Wanda, Emma, and Riptide, only Jean Grey is unaffected. No one can affect the Phoenix Force. Number 18 walked slowly in front of the torrent, raised his foot and cut off his leg with a kick. He only heard a click. It seemed like something was broken. Then he folded his arms hard, then clicked twice, and completely shattered. Next came two legs, following the same pattern, stepping up with one foot and crushing it to pieces. Time almost stopped, Riptide didn't yell, didn't fall to the ground weakly, didn't feel like he was completely doomed. Regarding Emma's treatment, number 18 chicken thief smiled. Doesn't this woman like to wear only underwear? 
Then I'll make it happen for you. Tear, tear, number 18 just pulled off her clothes. Aren't you pretending to be charming and slim? Okay, let you show off your figure in front of the whole world. Hey, done, he's such a reckless guy. He doesn't even know the enemy's details but he just knows how to attack him. Number 18 looked at Emma and the two with contempt and snorted disdainfully. Then she gloated and released the super speed moving state. She was looking forward to their wonderful performance. Ah, the moment number 18 released the super speed moving state, Ryu let out a terrifying scream, and then he fainted decisively and happily. Then, Gulu Gulu, the blood flow won't stop, and it seems that I can't live anymore. Sure enough, the consequences of forcing yourself to pretend are so serious. This painful scream was followed by another scream that almost deafened everyone's ears. Ah, Emma screamed and instantly transformed into a dazzling diamond form to protect her privacy and glared at no. 18. She has strong mental power, and she has a vague feeling that this smiling woman in front of her is the troublemaker. What are you looking at? Bite me if you don't accept it. Don't you like to walk around in your underwear? Let your waves spread all over the world. Don't thank me. Please call me Lei Hong. On the 18th, she was so verbal that Emma almost fainted from autism and was so embarrassed. How can she meet people? Emma was so angry that her flowers trembled, and she pointed at number 18 angrily. You, can you fight openly and honestly? What kind of hero is this? When number 18 heard this, he immediately sneered and said, I'm sorry, heroes all sacrifice their lives. I'm a little woman, hee hee. Having followed Chen Shi for so long, she has already become a good talker. Emma was born into a wealthy family, so how could she know how to curse? Emma was so angry that she cried, what a bully. The audience also reacted, this is a mutant war. The crowd exploded, a huge human-shaped diamond appeared in front of them, almost blinding their Krypton gold dog. Click, click, they took out their mobile phones and started taking pictures. Mutants are not common, and human-shaped diamonds have never been seen before. Now the two are combined into one, if we don't shoot it now, when will we wait? Ah, get out of here, Emma exploded with anger. Is this considered a large-scale massacre? Wouldn't she be recognized everywhere in the future? She collapsed just thinking about it. How about committing suicide? She was already planning to commit suicide. Ha ha, awesome, awesome. At this moment, a sigh came suddenly. Everyone looked up and saw a guy wearing a helmet and looking like a sharp guy slowly descending from the sky. There's something special about the way this guy appears, it's better than just letting him pretend all by himself. Pietro, Wanda didn't know who this murderer was, but she recognized her brother at a glance. No wonder this kid disappeared suddenly. It turned out that he got mixed up with the mutants from the Brotherhood. Wanda, why are you here? Kuayin naturally recognized his sister at a glance. Oh, everyone is here, what a coincidence. Suddenly, another faint voice reached everyone's ears, so cynical and arrogant. The voice was very soft and magnetic, as casual as chatting with old friends. It should have been inaudible from such a distance, but now it was like speaking in everyone's ear. The person who came was naturally Chen Shi. The Red Queen had already informed him that it was very lively here, and everyone who should be there and who shouldn't be there were here. Iron Man Oh my god, Iron Man, ha ha ha, the superhero Iron Man is here. No, that's not the voice of Iron Man. He sounds obviously younger. I also discovered that, instead of Tony, did Iron Man develop his own team. There are too many crimes, and it's normal for Iron Man to be too busy. Ha ha ha, then do we also have a chance to participate? After everyone saw the golden and red steel armor, their enthusiasm was directly detonated. Iron Tony Stark as their patron saint. When I heard that it was not Tony Stark, my thoughts were even more wild, so could they do the same? Suddenly a sharp-eyed guy pointed at someone and shouted loudly. Farkle, that's Magneto. God is really him, the villain Magneto. No, it's dangerous. Magneto can control metal, so wouldn't Iron Man be in danger? Iron Man, run, run. Magneto can control metal, you are no match. The onlookers suddenly realized that this was Magneto. That guy is not a middle schooler, that is Magneto's iconic helmet. Even if there has been no big movement for decades, how can the shadow of a tree and a person's name be erased? Ever since, 
Everyone shouted for Iron Man to leave. Their steel armor was too fragile in front of Magneto. Even if you just wave your hand, the steel armor will be crushed like a piece of paper. At this time, even Chen Shi didn't expect that Tony, a guy with a bad personality, had such a strong fan base. It seems that the Free America really worships individual heroism, so there will be articles to write about in the future. He also knew that the steel armor was not good, and he would definitely suffer a loss against Magneto. He could not scrap such a good steel armor. Red Queen, you can control the steel armor and go back. After saying that, he teleported out of the steel armor. There are no tools to disassemble it. Yes, Lord, the Red Queen agreed directly controlled the steel armor and left. Oh my god, he is Asian. So handsome, you are blind, that is Iron Man Tony Stark's cousin from the Dragon Kingdom. Fake, you are blind. Tony must be much older than him. As long as you have a degree in kindergarten, you won't be unable to read newspaper news, right? Ha ha ha, a bunch of fools. Everyone took a closer look and saw that this was the mysterious guy on the news, known as Tony's eldest cousin. This is a real hammer. If he wasn't Tony Stark's eldest cousin, how could he also have a steel armor? They slowly began to believe it. At this moment, they began to pay attention to the changes in the situation on the field. They knew that this cousin of the Dragon Kingdom was very special and knew the legendary Dragon Kingdom's magic. In recent years, they have suffered from the export of Longwo's online culture, and various websites have made a lot of money by translating online articles. If you see it too much, won't you start to fantasize about it? If people can write like that, they may have actually seen it, just like they think that people in the Dragon Kingdom know Kung Fu. Chen Shi, you really shouldn't underestimate it. Your mutant abilities are really scary. Magneto's heart sank when he saw Chen Shi suddenly appearing. This guy is so incapable of reasoning with common sense that a mutant ability appears from time to time. Suddenly an idea occurred to him. It would be great if he could lead them mutants, so who can bully them mutants? No need to hide in dark corners like mice. Children can be like normal children without being abandoned and discriminated against. The vast majority of mutants are really weak. He is really old now. He is over 80 years old. Even though he looks like he is in his 50s, he and Charles are really too tired. Living in darkness for half a century, their hearts are already riddled with holes. Hearing Magneto's sigh, Chen Shi smiled noncommittally. How many more do I know? You will know later. Chen Shi had no intention of doing anything to him, he just did different things from different angles. Really, I'll wait and see. Magneto's eyes were calm, and the terrifying magnetism began to condense in the palm of his hand. As the boss of the fraternity, he naturally cannot watch his younger brother being beaten unconscious and remain indifferent. Magneto, this is not the place to do anything. You don't want mutants and humans to go to war, do you? Chen Shi said lightly. Yes, this is the city center. Then let's fight in Quien Park on the outskirts. Magneto suddenly said. Okay, as you wish. Chen Shi smiled, it was a gift delivered to his door. He turned to number 18 and said, Lally, take Chin Gray directly to the suburbs. Don't go home. I'll be right back. Then be careful. The girls said with concern. Don't worry. Chen Shi smiled confidently. Kuayin still wants to say something to Wanda, but now is not the time, there is plenty of time. Pulling Magneto to move at high speed, he arrived at Quien Park in a few seconds. Chen Shi naturally followed him there. Everyone on Fifth Avenue was either disappointed or lucky. They missed a wonderful battle, but their lives were saved. Suburban parks, it's time to take action. Magneto's eyes were sharp and then he waved his hand, and suddenly several steel spears shot from the sky towards Chen Shiji like arrows. Chen Shi was not in a hurry, so naturally he would not end the battle quickly. He turned quickly and easily dodged these steel spears. Then he casually grabbed a steel spear that passed by him. The next second, the steel spear turned into a frozen spear, controlling it to shoot straight towards Magneto's body. He can't control metal, but he can freeze it and still control it. It's just that Magneto really has two brushes, and the frozen spear suddenly stopped when it entered the three-meter range of him. Bang! Under the dual abilities, the steel that was almost shattered by freezing was stirred by magnetic force and instantly exploded into fragments all over the sky. There's something, Lao Wan. Chen Shi smiled faintly, 
then his eyes narrowed, and he stretched out his right hand and shook it into the void. Endless crystal clear light slowly gathered, staining the setting sun with a layer of blood red. Go for it. With a soft drink, countless ice picks shot out in the direction of Magneto. In an instant, Magneto's front, back, left and right were surrounded by endless sharp ice picks, as if there was nowhere to hide. It's just that Magneto didn't panic, quickly raised his body, and firmly grasped the pipes in the ground, as long as they were metal, they immediately deformed. Chen Shi controlled the ice cone to change direction quickly, and with a bang, a huge steel wall formed directly in front of Magneto. Boom, boom, boom. There was a dense sound of impact, but it only knocked out small craters in the steel wall, but Magneto was not affected at all. Humph, you are worthy of being the boss of the Brotherhood. Chen Shi snorted coldly. He was able to lead mutants for so many years, so he was definitely not a vegetarian. Since the opponent is playing Wall of Steel, it will be easier to handle. Zhu Zanji has played the charcoal roasted second uncle, so today he will charcoal roast Magneto. I don't believe this old guy can bear it. Chen Shi took out a lighter, and with a swish, a fire dragon sprang out and rushed towards the steel fortress. Boom! A fire dragon wraps around like a dragon out of the sea, but this is not the end, just the beginning. Chen Shi used a lighter to spray out fire dragons one after another, pouring towards the tortoise shell in a steady stream. One, two, three, ten. Anyway, Chen Zai's physical strength is almost unlimited, so why should he be afraid? But seeing such trouble, Chen Shi was very unhappy. The temperature was too low, and it was just ordinary fire. But quantitative changes lead to qualitative changes. This dense fire dragon surrounded the tortoise shell and caused heat, which was not pleasant. The thermal conductivity of metal is quite good. Although the temperature of the flame is not high, it still makes Magneto sweat profusely and his whole body is about to smoke. Wow wow wow, Magneto can't stand it anymore. The tortoise's shell was opened in one stroke and he jumped out. It's just that his current image is unbearable to look at. The dark red shirt looks like it was fished out of the water. No, his whole person looks like he was fished out of the water. His face turned red and his eyes kept blinking because his helmet was dripping and he didn't dare to take it off. Do you think he was angry or not? Just like a cooked crayfish, Magneto greedily breathed in the fresh air outside, like a dehydrated fish finding a small pond, which almost suffocated him to death. Hee hee, hee hee, young people have their own tricks. Lao Wan was bent over, breathing hard, and looking at Chen Shi with a frown. The eyes are full of fear and envy, but more importantly, they are a kind of appreciation and expectation. He is the future of mutants, the hope of mutants. If he is willing to accept the entire mutant race, then he must take a back seat to Charles and make him king. Make him the king of their mutants. Although Chen Shi couldn't get anything useful from Magneto's head, he could understand his eyes. This is the infinite expectation for him in the infinitely bright future of mutants. Magneto is not wrong, and neither are ordinary people. This is the law of nature. Elimination, elimination, endless elimination. Just like sapiens eliminated Neanderthals, sapiens won and Neanderthals disappeared. Chen Shi met Magneto's expectant gaze and slowly said, Eric, your goal will eventually be achieved, but this person may not be me. Maybe Wanda, maybe Charles's son Dakin, or Jean Grey. This is not a movie world. It does not need the approval of the audience or the country. They will not sit back and watch mutants perish. Chen Zai's words were like a bolt from the blue, which stunned Magneto. He felt that Chen Shi was teasing him. That stinking rock named Charles actually has a son. How is that possible? In this book, I won't write that Wanda and Kuayin or Lao Wan's children according to other people's settings. Are you sure? Magneto asked in disbelief. Of course, this is the future. Chen Shi nodded calmly and said, Ha ha ha, ha ha ha, okay, the mutants are saved. Magneto laughed crazily, even if he were to die now, he would die without regrets, as long as mutants prosper. He chose to believe in Chen Shi because he knew that this young man had shown too many incredible abilities since his debut. Maybe predicting the future is just one of his abilities, and there's no need to lie to him. So, should we still fight? Chen Shi looked at the somewhat crazy Magneto and chuckled. No fight, no fight, I admit defeat. Magneto waved his hands repeatedly, and he was convinced. He knew that he was no match for Chen Shi. 
Well, I have a suggestion. You can talk to Charles's X-Men. After all, there will be many crises in the future, and I won't be able to talk about it. Now that they have met, he doesn't want the mutants to fight on their own and consume them endlessly. After all, unity is strength. Otherwise, if others break him down one by one, wouldn't he be picked off by others when he goes to the fish pond? How can that be done? Absolutely not. What's the crisis? When Magneto heard this, his heart tightened and he asked quickly. Alien invasion, genetically modified food. Chen Shi replied casually that he knew this. The country went all out to produce genetically modified food, but as a result, there were no more new mutants. One less person dies, just like boiling frogs in warm water. Alien invasion, genetically modified food. The first one is easy to say, but the second genetically modified food is really extremely vicious. This is unprecedented. Upon hearing this, Magneto's eyes narrowed and he frowned with murderous intent. He never expected such a result. He had to discuss it with Charles. The matter was important and related to the entire mutant community. He could not make the decision alone. Chen Shi, thank you, otherwise I can't imagine what kind of disaster and blow this would be. Magneto thanked Chen Shi from the bottom of his heart for telling him all this. No, I am closely related to you, so I will not let you go down the road of destruction. Chen Shi thought to himself, you are my fish pond. There are too many mutants in the future, and that means endless abilities. I can't let you die no matter what. Of course, only he knows this, it is his only secret. Magneto here couldn't wait to discuss with Charles, hurriedly shook hands and said goodbye, and asked Quicksilver to take him away. Kuayin, a spirited young man, travels very quickly. Watching Magneto and the two leave, Chen Shi grinned widely. Double happiness is coming. Double happiness is coming. I didn't expect that it was so heartwarming, and countless people watched the movie and the heart-pounding scenes were revealed so quickly. He will also be a seen person in the future. The Golden Gate Bridge. Then why not go to Huo Huo once? No, wouldn't that be worthy of the hints that countless movies have given him? System, extract it, Chen Shi said impatiently. Ding, the plot character Magneto Eric has been detected. Do you want to extract his abilities or items? This time, one million is extracted. Extract, ding, one million points will be deducted from the host and the withdrawal will begin. Please wait a moment, host. Ding, the extraction is successful. Congratulations to the host for getting Magneto's anti-telepathy helmet. Puff, the sound of the system made Chen Shi spit out blood. Grandma is so stupid, how can she withdraw such a piece of rubbish for only one million? One million. Continue. Chen Shi gritted his teeth and roared, as if he was squeezing it out of his throat. He is the chosen one. How could he be so disrespectful? Ding, host, this forced withdrawal requires double deduction of points. Ding, two million points will be deducted from the host and the withdrawal will begin. Please wait a moment, host. Ding, the extraction was successful. Congratulations to the host for gaining the ability to control the magnetic field. Is the host fused? Merge, Chen Zai's happiness has long since disappeared. Two million, two million, just gone. Ding, the fusion for the host has started. Please wait for the host. The fusion time is a bit long this time, and the more powerful the ability, the more so. The electromagnetic force is one of the four fundamental forces of the universe. Controlling the electromagnetic force is equivalent to controlling one of the four fundamental forces of the universe. How amazing is that? It took a full 10 minutes before the integration was successful. Ding, the magnetic control fusion was successful, please check it yourself, host. Ding, the plot character Quicksilver Pietro has been detected. Do you want to extract his abilities or items? This time, 500,000 points are withdrawn. After extracting Magneto's, it's now time to extract Quicksilver's. Extract, Chen Shi said immediately. Ding, 500,000 points will be deducted from the host and the withdrawal will begin. Please wait a moment, host. Ding, the extraction was successful. Congratulations to the host for gaining the ability to move at high speeds. Is the host fused? Merge. Ding, the fusion for the host has started. Please wait for the host. Ding, it has been detected that the host has the ability to move at super speed, and we have begun to fuse the two abilities for the host. Please wait. 
This time the system was silent again, and the fusion took a long time. After all, it was the fusion of two abilities. It took nearly 10 minutes before the system made any sound. Ding, high-speed mobile fusion is successful, please check the host yourself. This time it's perfect. Another two abilities gained, which is great. It would be better if it didn't cost a million more. Try it, the taste of magnetic control, hee <laughs> hee. Chen Shi felt very itchy. This was one of the abilities he felt he could best pretend to have. Just do what he said, he lightly grabbed the remaining metal fragments on the ground, and in the blink of an eye, the metals piled up in front of him. You can do whatever you want, they will do whatever you want them to do. Zila, Zila, Chen Shi used his mental power to control them and begin to deform, and slowly all the metals began to merge strangely, just like steel liquid being poured into shape. In the next 10 seconds, all the metal fragments merged into a black and gray giant sword 5 meters long and 1 meter wide. Chen Shi jumped onto the giant sword in one step and controlled the giant sword to slowly rise into the air and float. Hey, let's go. Today we are sword immortals. Sword flying. Whoosh. Chen Shi controlled the giant sword to fly quickly. Standing on the giant sword and flying in the clouds, he really felt like a peerless swordsman. Has he fulfilled his dream of being a swordsman? He can travel the world with his sword and see the prosperity of the world. When the giant sword reached the sky, the whole of New York was boiling. Even in the evening, they still saw it. Gods, gods, gods of the east. Oh god, what the Dragon Kingdom novel said is right. Sword immortal, sword immortal, this is the sword immortal. Ha ha ha, he is really a swordsman. I want to go to the Dragon Kingdom. I want to learn from his master. Take me, take me one. Chen Shi moved his sword across the sky, and the rouge red flaming clouds gave him a dreamy look. Against the backdrop of the sunset, he looked as misty as a fairy. What he didn't know was that the tickets to Dragon Country the next day were sold out, even if it was a month later. As long as you're going to the Dragon Kingdom, it doesn't matter where, no. Following the filming of the video, the United States began to become restless. Seeking Immortals. Go to the Dragon Kingdom to seek Immortals. Chen Shi didn't know that his appearance would cause an earth-shaking tsunami. If he had known, he would have flown a few more times. System, open the properties panel. Ding, the properties panel has been opened, the host can check it by himself. Host, Chen Shi, age, 22, level, sub-heavenly father level. Physique, frost giant physique. Ability, water control level A, 10 kilometers range. Ice type S level, minus 150 degrees Celsius. Fire control level B, 1000 degrees. Carbon temperature transformation, second to original Edmund and vibranium. Teleportation level A, earth range. Super speed S class, 2000 kilometers per second. Super self healing S level, any damage is healed within one second. Telepathy level A. Magnetic control level A. Items. Time stone, space stone, reality stone, power stone, mind stone, soul stone. End pieces. An umbrella hive factory. Subordinates. Android No. 18. Terminator TX. Points. 7.9 million points. Bioenergy. 3850 points. Chen Shi, who was flying, looked at his dashboard, looked at his points, and got to know his abilities again. His movement speed has doubled, and with the blessing of telepathy, his fire control ability has also been upgraded. The most important thing is that I have extracted the control of magnetism. Once I become proficient in it, I can exert the power of the Yuan Wan Magneto. After all, Magneto's physical strength and spirit are incomparable to his own. They are too different, so his abilities will naturally be different. Whoosh, putting away the pretend sword, Chen Shi prepared to go find Chin Grey. Now that this little girl has awakened, she may have destroyed a lot of land. He took out his cell phone and dialed number 18. Lolly, where are you? Master, we are in Queen's Forest Park. You can sense it when we arrive. Lolly quickly reported her location. Queen's Forest Park. Suddenly, Chen Shi appeared directly. Following the different magnetic field fluctuations, he quickly found them. At this moment, Chin Grey has calmed down, but the surrounding flowers, plants and trees have suffered. Destroyed by the power of telekinesis that was not controlled by Chin Grey, it was like a dog chewing, and it was a mess. 
Master, you are here. We don't know whether this girl has fully awakened, so we don't dare to get close. That's right, this girl made too much noise. Fortunately, this is deep in the forest, otherwise she would have been discovered long ago. As soon as the two women saw Chen Shi, they immediately rushed towards him like swallows returning to their nest. The two of them had no choice but to watch helplessly. As soon as Chen Shi came, they seemed to have found their backbone. It's okay, it's okay, let me take a look. Chen Shi pinched their little faces, comforted them, and then walked in the direction of Qin Grey. It's very simple to confirm whether she has awakened. Chen Shi walked to Qin Zhe Lei, who was sitting quietly, and slowly put his hand on her little head. Sure enough, he got the answer. Ding, the plot character Phoenix girl Qin Grey has been detected. Do you want to extract her abilities or items? This time, 5 million points will be withdrawn. The system gave the answer immediately. It's just that fake squid is a system, are you cheating on me? Withdraw 5 million points once. Then he can only withdraw once and gamble for fun. Get lost. If he extracts telekinesis or telepathy, he will become a pauper. Points are not easy to get. What if he encounters the ability of telekinesis? So he decisively refused. No extraction. Then he said to Wanda and the other two. It's okay. She has awakened. It's just that her mental strength and physical strength have been exhausted too much. Just rest and rest. When the two women heard this, they patted their hearts and let out a long breath. Just be okay, be okay. Picking up Chin Jie Lei, Chen Shi and the others immediately teleported back to their home in Dabiai, which was already habitable. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Suddenly, a satellite phone call came in. Chen Zai's heart skipped a beat, he knew Captain America had found it. Hey, boss, the person you mentioned who was frozen has been found. We are now ready to return. We will still return to the port of Maple Leaf Country and take away this frozen man. This time we cannot take a plane. We will first transfer to Maple Leaf Country and drive back to the United States. It will probably take four or five days to get back to New York. Bowen quickly explained his plan to Chen Shi on the phone. No, no need. Now tell me your longitude and latitude, and I will be there immediately. Now that he has found it, what is he waiting for? Can the time be better? But Bowen over there was stunned, and he confirmed again. Boss, could you please repeat that again? Did I hear wrongly? I'll be there immediately. You heard me right, I said I'll be here immediately and tell me your latitude and longitude coordinates. Chen Shi repeated it again. Okay. Boss, I think you are joking with me, but I decided to follow the arrangements of money. Who told you to be the boss? God, I must be crazy. How can I believe that someone can travel thousands of kilometers in an instant? Bowen muttered a lot, then shrugged and told Chen Shi the latitude and longitude coordinates. Don't blink. Chen Shi smiled mysteriously. Okay, okay, I won't blink. Bowen held back his smile and cooperated very well with Chen Shi. He thought this was just a joke. Just as he was looking at the phone with a smile, someone suddenly tapped him on the shoulder. Bang, the phone dropped. Fake, boss, I'm not dreaming, am I? Hiss, as he spoke, he pinched himself hard, and the excruciating pain told him that this was not a dream. It was real. Oh, God, boss, you are an immortal from the Dragon Kingdom, right? No, no, boss, you must be a god. If you're not a god, how can you get there just as you say? Bowen was so excited that he could not speak coherently. He was jumping hard and his eyes were filled with surprise. Hey, brothers, come on, come on, our boss is a god. A god. Bowen had already jumped onto the splint and shouted loudly at several nearby freighters. What, boss, you lied to us again. That's right, the boss is far away in the United States and is playing tricks on us. Hey, boss, is he dreaming? Naturally, the crew members didn't believe it, and they all laughed and laughed at Bao An's whims. Fake, look at me with your eyes wide open, who is behind me? Bao An yelled angrily, a group of sticks and cones. The crew members were stunned and shouted out. Oh, Fark, what a boss. Oh, buy it, the boss is right. Boss, he is a god from the Dragon Kingdom. Boss, do you still accept apprentices? I heard that the Dragon Kingdom does not accept foreign apprentices, and the teachings are not spread to others. They really saw Chen Shi. This incredible thing really happened. 
They exclaimed that the gods are here. Ha ha, brothers, if you believe in science, how can there be gods in this world? It's pure nonsense. After Chen Shi finished speaking, he put away the frozen Steve and floated away. Oh, bye, karma. Only the whole floor was left with exclamations. The boss thinks we are blind. In the wild, Chen Shi appeared in a flash and went straight into the basement under the different eyes of Wanda and Wanda. Looking at the empty basement, Chen Shi raised his hand and waves of ice appeared, creating ice from the void. The temperature of the entire basement dropped at a speed visible to the naked eye, and the temperature soon fell below zero. Bang! Chen Shi took out Steve and put it gently on the ground. It was considered that he was settled, but he must not drop it. Steve is a valuable guy and needs to be sold at a good price. As for grabbing the cosmic cube by himself, the price won't drop that much. Steve, Steve, you have to thank me for letting you see the light of day two years earlier, otherwise you will still be in the dark place. Chen Shi looked at the frozen Steve and murmured to himself, thinking exactly how to maximize his value. The Red Queen, if his blood is extracted, can a super soldier be cloned? Master, not necessarily, but there is a high probability of failure. His body is an acquired mutation, not a natural one. However, his blood still has a great effect. It allows us to study how to increase the multiplier of T-virus serum enhancement on human body quality. After a little calculation, the Red Queen knew that the probability of such a thing was very low, and a super soldier was really useless. That is to say, the symbolic meaning is greater than the strength. Once her T-virus is fully applied, it will completely destroy the so-called super soldiers. Hearing this, Chen Shi was not disappointed. It was just incidental, and he was not short of a super soldier. This is the real world, do we still expect OAA to appear and give Steve a 50 to 50 halo? If this is the case, Chen Shi really has nothing to say. There is no director forcing extra scenes, no embarrassing 50 to 50 split. A protagonist with only a little over a ton of strength. A Siberian tiger can produce a ton of palm power. Do you want to take away the vibranium shield that he forced to open 50-50? Chen Shi couldn't help but murmur, if he didn't have this prop, wouldn't he be useless? Forget it, forget it, it's just a piece of vibranium. Queen Hong, go and get a container and a blood-drawing needle. Okay, Lord, the Red Queen now controls the steel armor to get a set of tools that have been prepared long ago. This guy has already had Steve's idea. It can only be said that it is a bit sad that Steve was targeted by Chen Shi. People sleep in the ice, and pots come from the sky. Chen Shi carefully controlled the ice to expose a 3 to 4 mm micro incision, and then used magnetic force to slowly penetrate the needle deep into the ice. Poof! The needle pierced the artery in his arm. This needle was made of sub-grade adamantium alloy. His skin is tough, but it's no better than a normal person's defense. Everything worked very smoothly, and Chen Shi extracted 800 milliliters of Steve's blood. If an ordinary person had so much blood, he would have fainted from excessive blood loss, but for Steve, it was still acceptable. Of course, this is not within the scope of Chen Zai's consideration. As long as Steve is sold to Nick Fury, he will not care about anything else. The gap was frozen and everything was so seamless. Who could have noticed the tiny pinhole and it would have been healed long ago? The Red Queen, now take over the major portals and spread the news that Captain America Steve Rogers is alive. Let the people of America be lively and happy, hey, their superhero and national idol is still alive. While talking, Chen Shi inadvertently showed a fox-like smile, this charm of manipulating everything behind the scenes. Ha ha. The Red Queen followed her instructions and used a special scanning light to see through Steve's frozen ice cube and take a clear picture. At this moment, when everyone was taking a break from get off work, suddenly, something terrifying happened. All TV stations and major websites have been captured. What happened next instantly detonated the United States. Slowly, it even detonated the whole world. The front pages of TV stations and major portal websites are all clear photos. The photos are not scary, but the scary thing is that the content of the photos is a bit creepy. Are you still disappointed and complaining that there are no superheroes in this world? No, America's superhero, the country's defender, Captain America Steve Rogers is still alive. 
The hero needs someone to rescue him, and only the Strategic Homeland Defense Attack and Logistics Agency can rescue him. Everyone, take action. Heroes once saved America, and now heroes are waiting for us to save. But in the dozen or so photos of Steve that were posted, his face was pale in every one. One has to wonder, is he alive? But no matter whether it is alive or not, even if it is just a body, we must snatch it back. This is a hero. It was night at this moment, and everyone's passion was ignited. They don't know what the Homeland Strategic Defense Attack and Logistics Support Agency is, but they know that it is an official organization of the United States. The masses poured into the streets and alleys, waving flags and shouting in an orderly manner. We want the superhero Captain America Steve Rogers. We must take back the hero's body no matter what. As the Strategic Homeland Defense Attack and Logistics Agency going to betray the United States? Please do something. Various slogans have plunged the whole of New York and the whole of America into madness. The influence of Steve Rogers of the American team is too great. Even the Supreme Council has held an emergency meeting at this moment. They can no longer imagine that if Steve cannot be brought back according to the wishes of the people, then will their heads be secretly cut off by the angry crowd? There was already a sea of people outside. They were angry people, a sea of people. People outside are speculating that all this is the incompetence of the Strategic Homeland Defense Attack and Logistics Support Bureau. Or do they do nothing? Driven by the malicious intent of some well-intentioned people, rumors are flying everywhere. The support rate of the current parliament suddenly plummeted by 10 points. Isn't it possible that these people are in the opposition? Everyone was present in the emergency meeting room. No matter how busy they were, they put aside everything and came here without delay. Nick Fury, there's a lot of commotion outside. It's widely rumored that your strategic homeland defense attack and logistics support agency has failed to act. How do you explain this? Brother Black Horse looked at Nick Fury with a dark face. This fellow really didn't let him worry. He is a fool. How can it be easy for him? Yeah, yeah, Nick Fury, tell me. That's right, there is no smoke without fire. Everyone is saying it, so it must be related to your bureau. No matter what, you have to solve this matter. Before Nick Fury could explain, the old guys at the scene immediately dumped the blame upon him. Anyway, someone has to take the blame for this matter, which is unfortunate. There are rumors outside that this matter is related to them, which is just right. Ahem. Nick Fury coughed dryly and stood up, looking around at a group of old foxes with disdain on their faces, you can just blame them. Well, since this matter is directed at S.H.I.E.L.D., oh, I forgot to tell you that we changed our name. Then I am here to tell you that I will be able to solve the case tomorrow, and I have already guessed whose handiwork this is. Please tell all the people now that our Aegis will protect everyone's safety. We are their patron saint. What Nick Fury said was quite tough. If he relents and is chased by these old foxes, then let him slap these old guys in the face. Everyone was dumbfounded after hearing this, and they didn't know what to say about all the things they had planned to do to shirk responsibility and take advantage of the opportunity to embed their own people. All the roads are blocked, Nick Fury, you don't follow the rules. Haha, ha, everyone, if nothing happens, I'll leave first. After all, I have to get back Captain America Steve's body. Nick Fury stood up and sneered, turned around and left. Oh, by the way, I disappoint you. When he reached the door, he turned around and yelled at everyone. The properties of this cannon are also very powerful. Everyone's faces turned red and white, and they were so angry that they died. S.H.I.E.L.D. is under the jurisdiction of the World Security Council, and they can't intervene forcefully. They can only arrange people secretly, and this best opportunity is missed. This night, at least 300 to 400 million people are destined to suffer from insomnia. They cannot fall asleep at all. Superhero Steve Rogers may be alive. After Nick Fury left, he rushed to Chen Zai's location without stopping. He knew that this was the gift Chen she mentioned. He just didn't expect that the gift was really too big as he said, and it knocked him unconscious. Ding dong, ding dong. Nick Fury's anxiety can be seen from the rapid ringing. Queen Red, open the door. Yes, Lord. As soon as the Red Queen opened the door, Nick Fury walked in quickly. Nick Fury is not surprised at all that Chen Shi is waiting for him. Everyone is a smart person. Mr. Chen Shi, I want to see Steve's body first. 
Nick Fury said straight to the point. No problem, come with me. Chen Shi did not hesitate. When doing business, you are not allowed to let buyers inspect the goods first. In the basement, Nick Fury saw Steve who was frozen. He observed carefully for a while before confirming that this was America's first superhero, Captain America Steve. What do you want? Nick Fury didn't hesitate and asked directly. Cosmic Rubik's Cube, Chen Shi said. What? The Cosmic Cube? Nick Fury exclaimed, how do you know the Cosmic Cube is in our shield? Chen Shi laughed and said. How do you know? There is nothing in this universe that I don't know. I even know the pager Carol gave you. What else don't I know? Oh, that's right. When Nick Fury thought about the Cosmic Cube, it was really not a secret. But the Cosmic Rubik's Cube is too expensive. Let's change the conditions. Chen Shi shook his head. No. If I say Steve is still alive, is he worth it? What? Really? Nick Fury is suspicious by nature and he sneered at what was said on TV and on the website before, but he didn't expect it to be true. Certainly, Chen Zai's answer made Nick Fury fall into deep thinking. On one side is the cosmic Rubik's Cube, which they have been studying for many years but still don't know how to use or what it is. They don't even know that it is a space gem. On one side is the national idol Steve, who is still alive. Haha, <laughs> do you think it's better to form the Avengers with the Cube or Steve? Chen Shi suddenly said something casually. This sentence is enlightening. Nick Fury instantly knew what he wanted. Chen Shi knows very well that in doing business, you must know how to grasp the weaknesses of others. In one sentence, Nick Fury was immediately identified. All change. I'll go back and get the cosmic cube now. Things are dead, people are alive. Nick Fury left in a hurry. Half an hour later, he came back again, bringing with him the Cosmic Cube and a large army of bodyguards. For you, he directly threw the Cosmic Rubik's Cube to Chen Shi. Chen Shi suppressed the ecstasy in his heart and put it away, and Nick Fury immediately asked his men with guns and ammunition to carefully carry Steve into the armored vehicle containing the large freezer. When you get the Cosmic Rubik's Cube, everything is calculated. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.